my God. I'm not even that late today. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody? Too much just said I don't lick babies. Enhance, enhance, enhance. <laughs> Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Friday? It's a react day. It's a massive react day. So dub in the chat for that. Um... I'm late actually today because I was at a doctor's appointment. So uh, I started setting up my stream like 10 minutes ago. Uh, you know, when I pull up to the doctor, they give me the old blood pressure test. Bing, 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 bing. But he says I'm in prime condition. Told me I had something along the lines of, uh, so he, he said I had some, he said I had some, something called, something called ligma. I don't really know what that is, but, uh. No, that was a cringy joke. Anyways, I was at the doctor's. That's actually why I'm late. But it's, it's a react day. I'm only five minutes late. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but, yeah, no, we got a bunch of reactions today. What is Ligma? <laughs> All right, we're going to ignore that. Joe has, Joe has cancer again. Bro, can you stop? What? Oh, my God, I forgot about that. When they told me the thing on my head was almost skin cancer in the summer. Oh, my God. Why are you bringing that up now? Now you're going to stress me out. CJ and Red Rocker for the sub. They did say I need to get blood work, though, but that's just because I turned 21 and it's a baseline, not because I have any, like, ill condition right now. Lee for the sub. Formaldehyde for the sub. I am the Shadeling. Bomb Hayden winging. Venom, Reed, and I. Phoenix and D4C for the fucking subs. CJ for the sub. I forget if I said that one. Anyways, it's a react day today, chat. We got a bunch of videos that we're reacting to today. We're going to start off with a trailer called Evil Dead Rise. One of you guys sent this in the uh, Discord uh, suggestion tab. So we're going to watch this fucking trailer real quick because it looks good. Then we're going on into a Darman video called Mom Pulls the Plug on Video Games. Would you pay for sex? Keep it 100 a cut video. Ranking couples from most to least attractive. Vegans try meat for the first time. Korean girl picks a date based on the kimchi, their kimchi fried rice. I swam with 100 manatees. The real reason dodos went extinct. And then a scary video to end it off called the scariest sentence I've ever read. Does that sound good, chat? Yes or no? That's the rundown for today. Kill up for the sub winner for the 300 bitties. Says, hello, do you remember me? Yes. I feel like you ask me this every time. And if, just a quick PSA for chatters. If you're going to send me a bit dono and say, do you remember me? If I say yes... And then you ask me again four days from now, I'm going to still say yes. I'm not an 85-year-old man. I, I will remember a username if I said I remember a username. Leo for the five gifted subs, unless it's been like eight months. Then I might fucking forget. Uh, CJ for the sub. Leo for the five fucking gifted subs in the chat for that. Thank you for the five gifted subs, bro. Quick story time. Do y'all want to hear a quick story before we get into the... Hold up. Before we get into the fucking uh, reactions... Last night, this is a story time from last night, right? I go over, um, I go over what, wait, hold up, my friend texted me. Yeah, on stream right now, can help one day on this. All right, anyways, I'm at my friends last night. I'm actually at Brooks, right? We're doing a little, uh, little hang sesh with the friends, everything, right? Uh, we're doing a wine night. Quote, unquote. I don't drink wine, though. I was drinking Blue Moons. Anyways, uh, I pull up. I'm there with one of my friends, right? And it's like, it's like four, it's probably like seven or eight people there. And we're starting to drink. And, you know, I bring a bottle of fucking screwball that I've had and I didn't want. So I was like, yo, let's take shots. So we take shots. And... The night start, you know, I, I don't drink that much. You know, you know what? You drink blue moons? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're going to call me an old man. Anyways, let's move on. Move on from that shit. 
I have never gotten blackout drunk. Let me preface this story with I've never gotten blackout drunk like to the point where I don't remember an entire night. Like, you know the movie The Hangover? Well, that that they get roofied. Okay. <laughs> you know the movie The Hangover? How they fucking forget everything? Cut away for the five gifteds. Thank you for the five gifteds. Cut away. I'll read all the other subs. Yo, yo, uh, mute CJ, Hammy, Bry, start CJ for the fucking sub. Again, cut away. Thank you for the five gifteds. Anyways, I've never gotten blackout drunk. To, to that effect. The only time I ever didn't remember like an hour span was when I was in St. Martin and they started hand me, handing me a bunch of beers while I was gambling and I forgot like an hour of what the fuck happened. Anyways, I've never blacked out. I feel like whenever I drink, I know the extent of where I can drink to. So whenever I see people black out at college parties and shit, it's kind of shocking to me because I feel like there's a an impending doom feeling when you notice that you're beginning to get blackout drunk. If you don't know what blackout drunk means, that's effectively when you get so drunk that you literally can't remember anything that has happened the night previously, up until that point where you started blacking out, right? And so uh, last night, we're having a bunch of shots, and I only take maybe two or three. One of my friends is drinking beatboxes. If you don't know what a beatbox is, it's the equivalent of like a four loco. It's like 11, 11, 12% alcohol. An average beer is like four. He drank two of those four shots, two Hennessy shots, a beer, and he drank a glass of wine. <laughs> I'm watching him do this. Then, then he splits an edible with me and we, and we walk outside and we walk out, dude. I'm like, and when, while he's going through this, I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is already going to be bad. And he starts getting rowdy. Right? Like, he's normally just, like, conversative. He's normally, like, an energetic person. But he starts getting, like, energetic. And I'm like, oh, God, this is going to go bad. We start smoking. Not cigarettes. We start smoking a joint, right? Like, four or five of us, right? We're sitting there. We're passing it. He, like, disappears into the woods for, like, ten minutes. Bro comes back. Lays in his chair upside down and starts rambling in gibberish about the video game Toontown. Does anyone remember Toontown? The video game. This shit. No, it was old as fuck. It's like an old ass video game with like Mickey Mouse and shit like this. This is the game. Toontown, right? And he's sitting there, he's upside down, he's fucking, I, at this point I've realized he's blackout drunk. Because he makes no sense. Like any word that is coming out of his mouth has no relevance to the conversation, he's just talking to himself. And he's rambling about Toontown. And then he gets on the correlation between Toontown and Christopher Columbus colonizing the United States. And he's relating the two. He's making connections between Toontown. And, like, at first, I was like, okay, I was like, oh, maybe he's, like, smoking some, like, DMT type shit. I was like, buddy's, like, uh, going insane. And then I was, like, trying to think of, like, what he did. And I was, like, remembering how much he drank. I was like, oh, yeah, he probably is blacked out right now. And so I'm trying to, like, have a conversation with him. And I'm like, bro, what are you saying? Like, this is how I'm saying I'm like, what are you saying? What do you mean Columbus is the same as Toontown? And he's like, bro. And he starts ranting about how, like, the colonization of America is, like, similar to Toontown gameplay and, like, the capitalist system. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, dude, you make no sense right now. And then he gets, and then he gets, then he gets mad as fuck. And he's like, he's like, bro. And he start, and then and then he doesn't even respond to me when I'm like, "What are you saying?" He's like, "Bro," and then he taps this girl, and he's like, "Now nah, me and her are are gonna be the duo team for Gem Grab." And all of us are like, "Gem Grab," like, "What do you mean Gem Grab?" And he's like, "Brawl Stars, we're playing, we're playing Brawl Stars." I was like, "Buddy, none of us have our phones out." I, I was like, are, are you okay? Like, and eventually, cause one of, one of my friends is trying to like calm him down and shit. He ends up starting, he starts throwing his shoes at the moon too. 
and proclaiming that he's throwing his shoes at the moon. It was like, it was like actually actual insanity. Like nothing made sense that that was coming out of his mouth. He starts throwing his shoes at the moon. By the way, I have one of his shoes. He couldn't find his shoe in the morning. I said, bro, you left it in my car. I said, you put it in my car and then you walked away. And I was like, well, you don't remember that? He's like, no, I don't remember anything. Anyways, we're sitting there. We start playing headbands. The fucking game, you know, headbands where you have a little card and you have to like guess what you are and you can't see it, but everybody else can. We're playing that shit. And he's laying face down on, on the floor, like planking. And like, not like, like just, I mean, he's fine, but he's just like laying on the floor. And then randomly he jumps up and he goes, nah, like the donkeys in Toontown, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, bro, he just couldn't stop talking about Toontown. And then he got on Classic Lands and just stared at his base for like 20 minutes. Then my friend started carrying him upstairs and he was like resisting and like star fishing on the fucking wall. Bro woke up next day, said he didn't remember anything. Didn't remember anything. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And he was the one, like, right before we go to... I, I hate Hennessy. I think Hennessy's the worst fucking hard alcohol there is, right? If you don't know what it is, it's like grape out. It's like it's like an over-fermented wine. That's what I always relate it to. It's very... It's, it's disgusting. And so, one of my friends has Hennessy. And he's like, bro, let's take Hennessy shots. I'm like, no. And he's like, no, you have to take one. And he pours all of us, like, a double shot of it. And I already can tell he's fucked. But then he just slugs it. it is, and he goes like this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's over, bro. And then that's when he started blacking out. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's scary, though. When you see a friend, I thought Hennessy was a drug. No. Is there a drug that's similar to Hennessy? But no, it was like, it was fucking insane. Watching, if you've never seen somebody black out in your life, it's so crazy. Because they don't remember anything. Not even just remember anything the next day. But then in like 10 minutes from a, like, if you had a conversation with them and you asked them what happened 10 minutes ago, they can't tell you, they can't tell you, they don't remember anything. And so I'm sitting there, he's having these conversations with us. Like, like we're all talking about Toontown. Like he would leave the conversation, come back, start rambling about Toontown and like donkeys and Columbus. And it was like, he was like acting like we were all just talking about that. I was like, no, like, like, I want to know what was going on in his head. Like, how the fuck that made sense. It was funny, but I was like, bro, like, I was starting to get nervous about him. I was like, are you okay? Then he fell asleep. He woke up. He was fine. Chris P. Diddy, banana uh, for the two subs, at for the five. It's my 21st birthday. Happy fucking birthday, at Sniper. Thank you for the five. Happy 21st, bro. Sub for the sub. Or sub for the sub. Zephyr for the three, but he's your friend sounds wise. What, relating Columbus and Toontown? Hyena for the sub, that boy for the three jibbities. Love your streams, always make my day, and I like your TikToks too. Thank you, yeet for the five jibbities. Hey baby, come over 123 Sesame Street. What the fuck? Sharky for the sub, cut away for the five gifteds. All right, are y'all ready to get into the reacts now? Did he have a hangover? Yeah. Did he throw up? No. I've never really seen him throw up. Um, From like drinking too much. And throwing up doesn't mean you blacked out, and blacking out doesn't mean you'll throw up. They're not correlated. You throw up when you've had too much alcohol in terms of, like, when you don't feel good, but you could also throw up from alcohol poisoning. But getting alcohol poisoning is pretty hard. Well, not pretty hard. You just got to be a really fucking ir irresponsible drinker. Uh, Jay Jaden for the 300 minutes. Can't top a 21st birthday, but it's my 14th. How are you today, Joe? Uh, I'm doing swell. How are you? And happy birthday as well, Jaden. Two happy birthdays in the chat. All right. Are y'all ready to get into reactions? Somebody said it's my sixth birthday tomorrow. Buddy, you wouldn't even know how to type on a fucking keyboard when you were six. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. 15 minutes into stream. Haven't even started the reactions yet. Evil Dead Rise official trailer. Then we're going to get into the other reactions. But I wanted to start out with the trailer because I like starting out with trailers sometimes. It's supposed to be a scary movie. <laughs> That's way too hot. I'm going to immediately say, whatever you're cooking, you're probably going to burn. Ooh. 
What's up, sis? With the yoke, with the oh, shell. Beautiful dream. Her ankles are all fucked up. It was the perfect day. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open and then climb inside your bodies. <laughs> Climb inside your body? What the- like some Star Wars shit? The dude that fucking laid in one of those animals so he wouldn't freeze to death? so that we could stay one happy family. <laughs> that was so fake. That was so fake. <laughs> Bro, that looked like a bald cap. That looked like a bald cap covered in fucking red dye. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, from the creators of what the is horror this, classic. I found it. What will I be? Comes the evolution will I be of evil. If I walked into a kitchen and somebody was standing like that, I'm immediately running out. Like, that's some demonic shit. I'm not going to go investigate and ask them if they're okay. Like, no. what she said to me oh, are they gonna kill the kids no! No! <laughs> what is that oh not now you don't look so good mom nothing a big old kiss from you won't fix <laughs> yo ggwp maybe don't open the door for your demonic mom fucking dumbass but he just into that shit. <laughs> Skip that. <laughs> the cheese grater into the skin. I'm getting this out of here. I promise. You'd be a good mom. Son. What's the plot of the movie? Like, I don't want to shit on the trailer. I have no idea what's going on. They found some book. And for the idiots that are saying TOS, that's for real gore. This is a fake movie. Real gore is like if I was watching a genuine video of somebody dying. This is a fucking movie. Danny Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know Everybody got the chainsaw. <laughs> Why do they sit there? Like, can we have can we have one horror movie where people actually act how you would normally act in this scenario? Like, you're telling me you're watching this thing crawl out of the bathtub and you're gonna sit on your fucking ass and watch it kill you? Like, no, dude. That or I'm rushing her. Mom? Mummy's with the maggots now. I do respect movies that aren't afraid to kill kids, though. Um, I know that sounds kind of fucked, but I hate when they always tiptoe around the fact that, like, a demon with no morals still, a demon with no morals still doesn't kill children. Like a demon, a demon that scalps people and, and hacks people's bodies up and goes on a mass murdering spree of torture and pain and killing refuses to kill kids. Like that, uh, that agitates me. Like it's more real when it's like, oh yeah, 
there's a ghost in the house. It's just killing everything. Anything that's living is now dead. Dogs, people, kids, whatever. Like, that makes more sense because then it's actually scary. But when it's like, okay, they don't want to kill the kid because they want the movie to not be fucking rated R and they want it, they want it to somehow be PG-13 or some shit so they can get more box office money, that fucking annoys me. What will be, will be. How much you want to bet, though, that kid doesn't die? I'll put my money on that right now. They don't kill that kid. They don't kill that kid. You know, if I'm the director, that kid's getting their head cut off in the first five minutes. That'll be, that's a good movie intro. That's a good-ass movie intro. You fucking open up that shit, you fucking just slice some kid's head off, bro. You're going to be like, damn, I'm locked into this movie now. Like, you, like, you might think that's fucked, but you're going to be like, holy shit. They did this in the first five minutes? What a, first five minutes, they, they chop a kid's head off? What's going to be next? You're going to be fucking, you're going to be on the edge of your seat for that shit. It's going to be a great movie. Lingo for the three Jabinis says, you missed my last bit, though. I'll check it real quick. Callie for the three Jabinis. If you could be in one horror movie, not acting, but in the movie, which would it be? And do you think you would survive? Well, if I'm pick, what horror movie do I think I could survive? Michael Myers. Uh, Halloween. If I could be in Halloween, I think I would sur. You know how I would survive it? I would just move towns. I, if I was in the movie Halloween, I would be the guy that is moving in the in in one of the intro scenes, and they'd be like, "What's going on?" And I'd be like, "I'm moving." He follows you? No, he doesn't. Doesn't he stay in the same town? I thought he only stays in the same town. I feel like I've watched like five of those fucking movies. He never leaves that town, does he? You could just move. <laughs> you just move. If you move, then he doesn't kill you. Or Chucky. Yeah, I think I would be able to murder Chucky. I understand Chucky has human strength in the size of a doll, but he's also the size of a doll. Like, I could fucking shoot him. Or burn him. Or some shit. Or Michael Myers. Like, you're telling me the... the the seventh time Michael Myers goes on a serial killing spree and murders 25 people in one night, the military wouldn't just strap him to a brick wall and fucking blow him up. Michael Myers can't be killed by knives or bullets. All right, get the military involved, strap him to a brick wall, and fucking blow him the fuck up. Because he's not going to fucking come back from that. Separate his limbs. Se chop his body parts up. And fucking throw them in a grater. Isn't that what they did in the last one? I don't even know, dude. That's what I would do. I'd fucking tear them to shreds. I'd throw them in lava. Burn them alive. What? Blue for the vibe, Jimmy. Love your streams. Thank you. NL Blue uh, for the three gifteds. Uh, NL for the sub. Knee for the sub. Tom and Extreme for the sub. Lake for the three, Jimmy. I was camping with a friend at two in the morning. He started convulsing and filming strange TikToks. To this day, he claims he remembers nothing. I have multiple videos of the whole situation. Well, was he drunk or was it just he was sober and filming videos? Astro for the sub and Kaylin for the sub. Maybe he was uh, possessed. You never know. All right. Are you all ready to get into the regular videos? Oh, Callie means I don't mean slasher films. I'm talking about real genuine horror like Conjuring, Insidious, and Paranormal Activity. Damn. Like a real scary movie. Chat, what's a real scary movie you think you could survive? Not a slasher film. So no Freddy Krueger, no Jason, no Michael Myers, none of those dumb ones. The Black Phone? You think you could survive The Black Phone? Insidious? Human Centipede? Does that count? The Purge? Buddy, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to knock your choice here, but The Purge is not a horror movie. The, the Purge, The Purge is a theoretical thriller about whether or not. Uh, yeah, The Purge is not a horror movie. It is. No, it's not. The Purge is not scary at all. It. I think I could survive it. Yeah, especially because it only comes around like what, what, and see, once every seven, seventeen years. Is that it, or is that another movie? Am I mixing up two movies? What's that one movie that, or what's that one thing? Oh, 27 years. Yeah, 27 years. I thought it was 17, 27. Um, yeah, I think I could survive it. The Purge is not a horror movie. The Purge genre. Horror thriller? Bro, if The Purge is a scary movie, oh my fucking God. Then Wally is a scary movie. Get the fuck out of here. The Purge ain't scary at all. 
If it was real life, it would be scary, but it's a fucking thriller. Braden and Just Charles for the sub Crippo, for the sub Caitlin, for the sub Lake for the three Jimettis. He was completely sober by convulsing, I mean rolling around and laughing manically. Yeah, that's very odd. He says he doesn't remember any of that. King for the sub. All right. Let's lock in here, chat. Mom pulls the plug on video games. What happens next is shocking. Darman. You still haven't taken the trash out. You are still on that thing? But he's got you that redstone grind. Playing since morning. You're wasting. It's not in 1080p. It's not in 1080p. I peeped that immediately. Wasting your life on that dumb game. No, I'm not. Dumb game? Minecraft, one of the one of the top five most grossy games all time. Dumb game. Who the fuck are you? Even though I died in my Minecraft world and I said Minecraft was the worst game I've ever played, I've since moved on and I and I'm now not against Minecraft anymore. Dumb game. I I'm working on a redstone machine. I learned a lot of stuff from playing Minecraft. A lot all right, you don't learn shit from playing Minecraft. I hate when people say you learn from playing Minecraft. And, like, I, I actually, that irks me. When people say Minecraft is an educational game, you just plant, you just put water near crops. Oh, look, Mom, I'm learning. That's not how you grow food, dumbass. You don't just water shit. That's not how it works. You gotta fucking tend to it. You gotta weed it. It has to have a certain amount of sunlight. You can't just grow it in a fucking basement with a torch. You need to fucking give it nutrients and shit. You gotta turn the ground over. It's not just one smack with a hoe. King for the sub. All that shit. Even redstoning, dude. That's not even accurate. Useless stuff. I mean, all you're doing is putting red splotches on some blocks. They're yeah, what are you doing, Mom? Being a bit of a complainer, are we? What are you, what are you doing, Mom? Maybe, uh, I don't know, bitching a bit? Maybe, uh, you know, nagging me, you know? Yeah, that's all you're doing. I don't see you getting the fucking Minecraft game going on. He's playing creative. Never mind, I'm on the mom's side. <laughs> Never mind, I'm on the mom's side. He's playing creative. I'm no longer... All right. All right, yep. Yep, you're playing a dumb game here, kid. Who the fuck plays Minecraft creative? Oh, my God. Buddy's redstoning in Minecraft creative? I, what, what is that, a fucking piece of rotten flesh? A redstone and then a switch? What are you even making? Splotches. And this sticky piston is giving me such a hard time, and I don't even know if my lever's even in the right place. Why can't- The bro's trying to make Minecraft seem complicated. Buddy, you place the redstone sweat. you place the lever, you put redstone on the lever, you place four, you place a repeater, you place another four, you attach it to the piston, then you attach the piston, whatever the fuck you want to move. It's not complicated. It's actually the most easy thing ever. Five-year-olds do it. Let's not make it seem like it's calculus. This sticky piston's giving me a hard time. Any of that makes any sense. Like it's a fucking physics problem. You're not learning anything real, which is why I'm taking you off of it. What? You're taking me off Minecraft? Wait, no, but uh... Bro, pause the game for no reason. You're in you're in creative, buddy. There ain't no there ain't nothing that's gonna kill you, man. How about this? If I can prove to you that Minecraft does teach me a lot of stuff, then I get to keep playing Minecraft until I have to go back to school. That doesn't make sense. How could you even prove that? Actually, I saw a video like this on YouTube. It's called Busting 100 Minecraft Myths in 24 Hours. There's going to be 100 tests. How many was it? A hundred Minecraft myths? I'm gonna... <laughs> Most people think it's impossible to jump more than four blocks in Minecraft, but if you jump 17 times with pixel-perfect momentum and rotation, you can make a five-block jump in Minecraft. A myth is something that you... No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He gets up five blocks. Now I'm not gonna shit on Preston. Preston plays with my childhood. Nobody dissed Preston plays. Preston plays with my fucking childhood, brother. Alright? I will never shit on Preston plays. I watched that man for fucking seven years straight.
Rocker and Quixley for the sub. King for the sub. Tests, and if more than 50% of them are true, I win. Okay. Fine. But if you can't prove it, then you have to do chores without complaining for the rest of break. And I am not giving you 24 hours to do it. You have until your dad gets home tonight. Deal? For a hundred myths? But he has to bust a hundred myths in four hours? Deal. And I already know where to start. Just give me like an hour. Before you put a plant into the dirt. Yo, does she work? Like she's dissing him. She's saying he's doing nothing. She's got the time to fucking watch this kid for five hours break Minecraft myths. Like, I mean, you're shitting on him. You're shitting on him for doing nothing. For doing nothing all day. Now you're what? Now you're with him doing nothing. Now you're with him watching him do fucking Minecraft myths. Literally doing exactly what you said was a waste of time. It's always best. To it's probably her day off, dumbass. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, Wyatt QI. It's probably her day off. To the dirt. I was asking a genuine question. Like I wasn't, I wasn't accusing her of not working. I was saying, oh my god, uh, she's bitching at him, saying that it's a fucking waste of time. Maybe. Uh, she's now wasting her time with him with what she was fucking previously complaining about. That was my point. I wasn't saying, oh yeah, she definitely has no job, Wyatt. Dirt. The hoe first. That is way too far into the fucking ground, pal. You just wedge that shit all the way the fuck in there. That plant dies in a day. Okay, so you planted a couple plants. whoop de doo I'm not finished yet. Next, the plants need to be near water, and that's why I got these. Yo, he literally just fucking fisted them into the ground. Like, they're not gonna grow. Extra drip tubing from the shed. Next. What are you doing? That's disgusting. That belongs in the trash. Or Next, the poop for the ten gifted subs. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, Max. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. Thank them if you got a sub, but thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, Max. The Pope. Dub. Auto for the 300 bitties. First time doing any of the Bart Man. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing swell. How are you? And thank you for the 300 bitties. And Max, genuinely, thank you for the 10 gifteds, bro. Does it? I learned in Minecraft you can use bone meal to make your plants grow faster. Bone meal. It's an egg. That's an egg. You're crushing up an egg, brother. Bone meal, egg, egg. It might fertilize it. You might not be wrong on that. That ain't bone meal, though, dumbass. Do you know what the next closest thing is? Eggs. That's right. Eggshells. Booyah. Okay. You didn't learn that from Minecraft, though. You had to Google that. You know what the next closest thing now is? Eggshells. Where do you learn that? They don't fucking teach that in Minecraft. I thought the whole point of this was things that you could only learn from Minecraft. Okay, okay, but And you even so, you just put a fucking half-broken eggshell on a plant. That's not gonna do shit. You gotta fucking grind it up. Put it into the dirt. So it can soak it up and shit. Bro's just fucking placing an egg yolk. Or not an egg yolk, a fucking eggshell on a plant. Oh yeah, that's really gonna help. You could have learned that anywhere, not just in Minecraft. That is true. I could have. But did you even know about it? That is beside yeah. the point. Are you finished? Bro, you're like 45 years old. You didn't know that you could fucking fertilize a plant? Maybe she needs to get on the Minecraft grind. No, one more thing. Um, I learned Somebody said, when are you finishing Thief Sim? I already did. Minecraft that greenhouses are very, very helpful. Yo, like, uh, where do these comments come from? Bro, I haven't played Thief Sim in, like, five months. 
And then you randomly pull up to my stream. Bro, when are you finishing Thief Sim? <laughs> like, what? Like, bro's got the Motorola delay? Yo, dead ass. But he's gonna pull up. When are you finishing Red Dead Redemption? God damn, man. I haven't played that since fucking May. Afford plants. Well, it's too bad we don't have any. You see, that's where you're wrong. These cups can act as greenhouses, and it turns out a lot of things can work as greenhouses. These plastic clear cups can help protect these seedlings from the cold. Yo, that's literally not going to grow. Bro, bro just broke up an eggshell into four pieces and then laid it on the leaves. <laughs> And then what the fuck? Like, these are, dude, they're gonna be dead in two days. Your cups can help protect these seedlings from the cold. Oh, I made this board to keep our score. We put our points on it with a tally mark. How the fuck did Eight, he just nine, get? 10, 11, 12. Oh, 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 wait a minute, hold on. You're giving yourself 12 points for that? All you 12 points for what? All you did was tilling. Facts! All you did was fucking plant a goddamn fucking plant. That's all you put it in the ground. You tilled the ground, put a plant in, put eggshells on it, put a cup over it. And watered it. Maybe fucking six. Maybe fucking six. Max the poop for the ten gifted subs, bro. Thank you for the ten gifteds. Thank them if you got a sub in, bro. Thank you for the ten gifted subs. I appreciate that. We're already at 63 subs today. That shit's insane. Max for the fucking subs. 20 gifted total today overall 755 subs to the channel nuts thank you for the subs max all you did was tilling irrigation eggshells and greenhouses that is yeah and greenhouses are nowhere in minecraft you do not make a greenhouse in minecraft uh yo the crime clown if you tell me to react to pack god one more time i'm gonna fucking perma ban you i'm gonna fucking perma ban you I swear to God, I've read your ma I read your message three fucking times. Normally, I don't see that shit. Holy fucking shit! What is Pack God? Don't laugh! Don't laugh! No, no, no! It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no! Relax, relax. You're getting emotionally unstable. Relax. Calm yourself. Make I'm, me quiet. Make me silent. I'm, no, make me silent. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I, I feel like I'm not silent right now. I feel like I'm verbally. He just roasts. He he roasts people. Is this the guy that roasts speed? Did he do one with speed? I feel like I've seen that. What the fuck? Speed. Speed. Yeah, Pat God versus speed. What is eight hundred five eight eight Empire? 800 Today. What the fuck? Is that the fuck? Bro, it's an ad? Why the fuck did that show up in the search? It had nothing to do with it. All right. Four points. Yeah, but I no, did I know that commercial. Times three because I did it on three plants. And three times four is 12. So, if we're going to 100, then you I need see, to... Mom, 3 times 4 is 12. Oh, and I learned that in Minecraft, too. Add another 3 points. But he's just doing math at this point. I did it with 3 plants, but he just do it fucking 50 of them, and then you just you just get the challenge done. By that logic. The help I can get. You sure do. Okay. If that's how you want to play, I got some Minecraft myths to bust. Oh. Here we go. I feel like this is an NPC household. Like, spending an entire day on breaking Minecraft myths. Like, I would never do that. I would... But my kid was like, yo, can we spend the next six hours breaking Minecraft myths? No. Dude, I'll do that for, yay, 30 minutes. You know, I'll, I might be supportive on that. But, like, fuck, dude. I'm not going to waste my whole goddamn day breaking Minecraft myths. It's 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 a my it's not even a Minecraft myth. It's just, it's just, it does this work. Does, does a plant grow with fucking bone meal? this is a compass mm-hmm a compass tracks you to your spawn point in minecraft if you have a lodestone your compass will point directly to it in the nether and in real life a compass points north where does it point in minecraft 
That's where your bed is. Yes, which is incorrect. Now, since we have two beds in the house... Bro, at that point, do zombies exist? Myth. Do walking skeletons exist? Myth. Do endermen exist? Myth. Do ghasts exist? Myth. Does the nether exist? Myth. You can just fucking write myth after myth after myth. You can just fucking cheat that shit. Like, easily. Bro! Max! Hi. Bro gives me 13,900 biddies to say hi. Hello! Thank you for the fucking 13,900 biddies, bro. God damn. That is so many fucking subs, Max. So many bits, too. What the fuck? How many bits do you have? Bro gave 291,000 bits, 755 subs. Holy shit. Max, thank you for the fucking biddies, bro. God damn. Dub from Max. Thank you. Genuinely, thank you. That is so many fucking bits. I'm gonna give myself two points. That should only be counted as one point for you. Fine. Do you see those two trees outside? Do you really think you could get wood by punching the tree? No. But Yo, if you she's the type of mom to say Fortnite's like 9-11. And that like playing video games makes you a school shooter. She's that mom. She's that mom that sees a kid play Call of Duty and immediately assumes they're gonna bring a bomb to class. Because they learned it in a video game. Like, oh my god. Are you allowed or does punching the tree, does punching the tree give you wood? No. No, it doesn't. Well, that's one point for me. Bro, at that point, she could just disprove every block because there's no gravity in Minecraft. Everything's a square. That's, that's right. two points. Max for the 10,000 biddies, top three fucking bit giver. God damn. My God, Max the Pope for the 10,000 fucking biddies, dude. Evil Apple for the sub as well. My God. Fucking top three on each leaderboard. That is nuts. Holy fuck. Max the Pope, 755 gifteds. Top three gifteds. 301,300 biddies. Top three gifter. Or not gifter. Bit giver. Bit gifter. My God, I'm stuttering here. Max, thank you for the 10,000 biddies, bro. That is actually insane. That is actually fucking insane, dude. Thank you. Points for me. Oh, oh, and if you have a secret room in Minecraft, where can you hide? You mean behind a painting? Yeah, let's test that theory out. Oh, no, can't hide behind that one. Oh. Yo, I, yo, she says we're testing the paint the the painting theory. I'm punching a hole in her fucking wall, and then I'm gonna stand in the drywall, and I'm gonna fucking put the painting over myself and say, "Oh, secret room." It, that's actually not, yo, that's a terrible fucking point on her end. Trying to say that that wouldn't work. You just, you could just put a paint in front of a fucking door. Oh, not that one. How about this one? No. Yeah, uh, because there's regular paintings in Minecraft too, idiot. Maybe get a big enough painting, put it in front of a door. Uh, secret room. No. Oh, man. Not that one either. Wow, that is one. Two, three, four, five. Bro's got that fucking billionaire stance. I know a myth they should test. They should get, you know how in Minecraft, if you throw eggs on the ground at some point, there's a real live chicken that, that uh, comes out. They should, they should go to a farm and get a mixture of eggs, some fertilized, some earned fertilized, and then try that. What a great play that would be. Points for me. Not dead fucking, not dead chicken fetuses just on the fucking ground. <laughs> Leo for the five gifteds, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Leo Rib 2. Tiptoe for the three Japanese as well. Put a gold ring with an em with an emerald as the gem. That's dope. Uh, and tipped out from the three Japanese. And Leo, thank you for the five gifteds. And Max, again, thank you for the gifteds and the fucking biddies, bro. Hey, why'd you kill that spider? 
because I wanted to see if it would give me poisonous spider eyes. I would actually tell my mom that she was so cringe if she ever fucking said that one-liner. I wanted to see if it would give me poisonous spider eyes. I would give up. I would just say, all right, you win. I'll do the chores. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, holy shit, that ruined my day. That actually, no, in real life right now, that ruined, that made my day worse. That, fu that was so cringy. I hated that. I hated every second of that, and I'm going to go through it again. See if it it would give me poisonous spider eyes. Turns out it doesn't. Oh, God. It's like when a mom tries to be funny and they're not funny at all. It's like there's mom jokes and dad jokes. Like, that was so cringe. Like, that was unbearable. Poisonous spider eyes. I hated that. Turns out I it hate doesn't. That. Oh, speaking of mobs, do you know what else doesn't... Let's, let's, see, let's see if it gives me poisonous spider eyes. That's not what... That's not even what the game says. It's cringe, and you're fucking wrong. Why don't we get a Black Widow spider to fucking bite you in the arm and see if you keel over from fucking poison in two seconds? Uh, you know, maybe that'll be an actual good test. Why don't we actually get a poisonous spider to fucking bite you? And then we'll see how that goes. Let's see if he takes some heart damage. Let's see if, let's see if the ticker goes down a bit there. H20 for the sub, it for the three-inch bitties. Somebody redeemed fucking headset, Matt. Not even dented right now. Exist in real life. Creepers, zombies, and walking skeletons. Oh, she said she wanted to see if she would get a poisonous spider eye as an item. I doubt the spider they even killed would have been poisonous. You're in your house. Skeletons. Check, check. Check. Yo, why don't we, why don't for the next myth, we test if you have a respawn point. You're going to go to bed and then, um, and then I'm going to shoot you. And then you're going to see, we're going to see if you wake up. <laughs> and then we're going to see if you wake up the next day in the bed. Oh, wait, no, we're playing hardcore. No, we're playing hardcore. Mom, 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 I'm not testing that one out. We're playing hardcore right now. You look at that. I have one more point than you, and I didn't even have to leave the room. And how the heck do you know so much about Minecraft all of a sudden? Well, while you were busy uh, getting your supplies together, I was doing a little research of my own, and uh, look what I found. A bunch oh. of ways Minecraft is not like real life. Who wrote that article? Fucking Karen. It is not surprising that Minecraft is a video game that attracts the attention of our children. Do you think that's a real article, chat? The difference between Minecraft and real life is an actual website. But that's a fake article. Some resources, such as technology, electronics, processed foods, are not included in the game. It has portals to other worlds and, no, and has no objective. On the other hand, resources such as technology, electronics, and processed foods are available in real life. It does not have portals to other worlds and has various objectives that differ among people. Bro, is this like a fucking definitive explanation that NPCs must exist? Like, holy shit. So they made this article for someone. Somebody needed to read this. That Minecraft is not like real life. Many aspects of real life are not included in video games. Issues such as hygiene, processed foods, electronics, extreme weather, and vehicles are not in Minecraft. Yo, hygiene's the big factor. A lot of gamers need to know that one. The other ones, though, the other ones, though, they don't really need. That was so fucking stupid. A bunch of ways Minecraft isn't like real life. Yeah, and this list has everything on it, so I'm totally going to win. You're cheating. Oh, well, you did say that I couldn't. 
You're getting your list online. Meanwhile, I'm over here and I have to get it all off the top of my head. I'm so going to enjoy watching you do your chores. She agitates the fuck out of me and I don't and her hair just it just couples with the Karen vibe. It just couples with the Karen vibe. You want to go next? Actually, can you make me some food? I'm kind of hungry. Sure. Let me go see if I can bust some more Minecraft myths in the kitchen. <laughs> Minecraft myth number three, Mom. You're going to eat this raw chicken. In Minecraft, there's a 20% chance that you get salmonella. Let's see if you get salmonella. Eat the chicken. Eat the raw, the entire raw chicken. And then we're going to wait a day. Actually, no, we don't need to wait a day, Mom. You know, I'll take the loss on this one if we're wrong. You know, all you got to do is finish the chicken and then you get the myth right there. Because you're not going to contract the salmonella till later. And the challenge ends in four hours. So, you know, I'll have to do chores, but you're going to fucking get a disease. <sighs> Oh, they got those gross-ass apples, too. Not even in the fridge. Yikes. What? I think... Your redstone isn't attached. Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom. Your redstone isn't attached. Your redstone wiring isn't attached to the plug. Poster's broken again. The lever won't stay down. You put apples in the fridge? Yes. Then they're cold. And they're better. Y'all don't put apples in the fridge. Is that weird that I put apples in the fridge? They're so much better. They're so much better. You got to put apples in the fridge, chat. I know, like, I know they're, yeah, you can leave them out, but then they're warm. Then they're warm. You want to eat a cold, like a cold, crunchy apple? Oh, they're so good. They're way, like, like I'm just saying, like, a warm apple is, like, ten times worse. If you don't like apples and you don't put them in the fridge, that's probably why. Tipped up for the three minutes, you could jump off a cliff and try to water bucket. Yeah, mom, myth number five, you're going to do it. Here's a water bucket. You're going to jump off this cliff. Here's a pail of water. Make sure to throw it, like, frame by frame right before you hit the ground. Uh, Leo for the five minutes, it for the three minutes. Uh, I love and same for the sub link up for the three minutes. She's 100% argues over expired coupons with target managers. Uh, no, this actually says I get 10% off three cans, not two. Remind me to have your dad fix that. Shoot. The eggs are all expired. Oh, throw them on the ground. Maybe a chicken will hatch. Oh, wait. What? I read on that Minecraft list... That you have a 1 in 12 chance of a chicken coming out of an egg. Oh, uh, you're cheating on this one because those are all unfertilized. If you really want to play that game, Mom, let's go to a fucking farm and I'll throw a goddamn fertilized egg on the ground and you're going to see a dead fucking chicken fetus coming out of that shit. Fuck you, Mom. Fuck you. You're trying to cheat the system now. Let's go to a farm and I'll fucking throw a fertilized egg on the fucking ground. That a dead fucking chicken will come out. Um, <gasps> let's test that out, shall we? I am really starting to hate that little... What? What are you doing? Do not waste those eggshells. We can use them outside. I get your point. Okay. <laughs> Yo, she's so annoying. Oh, she's so annoying. Oh, she's so annoying. She just... It's just like... She's playing like the conceited mom. Like, I hate mom's ladder. Like, like there's so many moms in real life that are like that. Where you fucking pull up and it's just like the, okay. And you could tell that they're just like, they're so full of themselves. It's fucking annoying. I get your point. It's just anyone like that. But it's always like, it's always like one of the parents. There's always one parent, dad or mom, that's just fucking, ugh. Just so like, Ill, uh, just full of themselves. They just know everything over their child. Like, no, your kid's going to be smarter than you one day. Hate to break it to you. You're not that smart. You're a fucking boomer almost. The kids are probably going to fucking get smarter than you are. You don't know how to work a fucking iPhone. Okay. <laughs> All right, but it's actually 12 points. 
Wow, okay. That makes no sense how that would be 12 points. It's one myth. Like, I feel like it's one myth. 12 points for one myth. What? Let me get... Ouch! You okay? I cut myself. Oh. I read in Minecraft, if you eat a golden apple, it has healing abilities. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a golden apple, you stupid fuck. That's not a golden apple. Why don't you eat gold? Yeah, eat your fucking necklace. Eat your necklace and I'll give you the fucking points. Smelt your necklace and cover the apple in your fucking necklace and eat it, dickbag. Uh, now you're pissing me off. That's a green apple, dumbass. They don't even have green apples in Minecraft. Hmm. Oh, the fucking slopping. Oh my god, roundhouse right to the fucking nose on that one. Oh, I'm fucking pissing me off. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's just fucking chewing on purpose. Oh, the fucking smacking, dude. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Um, uh, I read in um, on Minecraft that if I eat a, a golden apple, it would heal me. Uh, that's actually not substantial damage. You haven't taken a half a heart yet. Let's cut off your finger and then test it out. Yeah, Mom, now you actually have to take a full heart of damage to be able to heal from a golden apple. So let's actually chop your fucking pinky finger off and then test it out. Hmm. It didn't work. Did it? I wonder why. Okay, that's one. Excuse me, excuse me. Two, three, four, five. Oh, five. Five apples, five points. What are we playing? What is this? House rules? What is this? House rules now? What is the What the fuck is going on? It's one myth. It's one myth. You're multiplying it by the type, the time of apples. She's rubbing in the fact that he did it three times with the fucking plants, which was also stupid. Apples, that's five more points. Wow, would you look at that? 30 points. Yeah, well, guess what? You need food to survive in Minecraft, just like you do in real life. Okay, okay. That, come on now. That is a stretch, even for you. Nope. You're How is that a stretch? How is that a stretch? You need, in Minecraft, you need food to survive. In real life, you need food to survive. Yeah, count every, or, yeah, count every piece of food in there and give yourself a point. Yeah, let's do that. Count every fucking bread particle. All right, it, uh, after this, it looks like I have 1,456,347 points. Uh, so I think you lost. Counting all the apples, I'm counting all the food. We have carrots. Carrots are good. No, count yeah. every individual carrot. Give yourself a point for every carrot. Potatoes, salmon filet. We have steak. Want to know something? All of these are in Minecraft. Oh, and another thing I learned from playing that game. All these foods are better and more nutritious when they're cooked than when they're raw. Yep. Oh, yeah, so multiply it all by two. Now, multiply it and multiply all those ten points by two. Now you win. Yeah, no, 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 that's what you got to do there. All right, you got cooked and uncooked food. Yeah, multiply that by two, especially when they go rotten. Then you can't eat it anymore, so, you know, you're going to, like, rotten flesh. So we're going to multiply that by three. So let's see, after all of that, brings me to 30. All right, Mom, for the next one, we're going to be trying the uh, water breathing potion. Uh, you're going to drink this, which is a mixture of Gatorade and uh, water. And then you're going to tie the cinder blocks to your feet and jump in the water. And we're going to see uh, if you can last three minutes, because that's how long a water breathing potion lasts. Uh, this one is not a water breathing times two. It's also not a splash potion. Uh, so, you know, the effects may vary. But, you know, we're going to try and throw you in the water here and see how long you last. Three points. I'll drop down. I'll drop down a knife to cut yourself out after around five minutes. So, you still feeling confident, Mom? Bro, Darman rocks on the fridge. Really? 
bring it on. Unlike Minecraft, when you remove bricks from the bottom of something, the ones on top do not float. Oh! One point for me. See? Charcoal is made from burnt wood. But there is gravity in Minecraft. So, like, you could conversely give yourself a point. Because even though there's gravity not associated with blocks, you can still fall. Just like in Minecraft. Huh. I'll take that. I also hate her shirt. Can I say that right? It's been it's been pissing me off. I don't like shitting on people's fashion choices, but I really don't I don't like the sleeves with the holes in them. It's just like it's just give it's just the Karen vibes are just emitting. It's just it's just agitating me. Oh, look at that. If you double jump, you can't really fly. In in what Minecraft can you double jump and fly? Creative. Creative. Which no one plays. Other than this kid. One point. You, you love obsidian jewelry. Well... Minecraft taught me that obsidian is made from lava. One, two, three, four points for me. Oh. Touche. What a dumb fucking family photo. Dude, that kid's blonde. I gotta undislike it. I feel so bad when I dislike videos. Splash potions don't exist. Four points for me. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. No, I have to give it back. I have to give it back. I don't feel bad anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Please shut up. Oh, this is fucking pissing me off now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. She's doing the fucking boogie down dance. Okay. Um, Looks like we tied. 50 and 50. Oh my god. So that means we have to have a tiebreaker. Yeah. Next point wins. And just in time, because your dad should be home any minute. But what do I do? I feel like I've done everything. Oh, are you out of ideas already? That's too bad, Kennedy. You're toast. Wait a minute, what did you just say? Dude, it's just acting like a, it's it's just like I'm getting the vibe of like she like she was told to act like she's still a kid. Like it's like it's like a grown woman acting like like a six year old. You're toast. Like a five year old would say that. That's too bad, Kennedy. You're toast. Nah. Wait a minute, what did you just say? I said you're toast. Toast. That's it. There's not toast in Minecraft. What are you doing? Earlier, you said that the toaster lever would not stay down. I had the same problem with my redstone creation this morning. No, you didn't. You can't. There's never an issue with a lever staying down. You just fucking click it. You click it in Minecraft and it goes up or down. Are you really going to try and fix the toaster and then you're going to win? So. You, Minecraft would never teach you how to fucking fix that. This part right here is obviously the lever. But the sticky piston won't activate. Yeah, this and you know what I'm going to do when that shit won't work? I'm going to fucking whack that shit down. It ain't fucking pressurized. All right, I'm slamming that fucking lever. It's going to stay down at some point. This part's like the lever, and this part in here is like the sticky piston. No, uh, you got to plug it in before you shove the screwdriver in. Uh, you got to plug it in just so it works. You got to, uh, when, when you unscrew the bolts inside of the toaster, you're supposed to plug it in first. Uh, okay, well, so how did you fix it in your little game? Oh, yeah, 
I couldn't because you made me get off my computer. Okay. Well, go ahead and knock yourself out. If you can fix this using what you learned in Minecraft, then you win. But if you can't, then I win. So go ahead, knock yourself out. He fucking electrocutes himself. He has no idea what the fuck he's doing. He's just tightening shit. Maybe it has to do with the tension of that. Wow. These are really loose. Careful. Yo, they doing all this Not for that. an Amazon Basics <laughs> toaster. I swear to God, like, I, yo, like, I, I might try to fix that shit. If it don't work after that, I'm throwing that bitch the fuck out. I'm gonna just eat fucking non-toasted bread. Okay. If this works... It won't even go down now. Now it's stuck. It's just fucking broken. And the, the second he plugs it in, it just blows up. And this lever stays down? Then you win. But if not, it's game over. And out of every video game a mom wouldn't let you play, your mom's really not letting you play Minecraft. That's like that's like the safest game that you could play. Sticky piston. Please. Please. First manifesting it. Oh! Oh, that should have worked! <laughs> well, oh, that, that should have worked! And he starts crying. It should have worked! Minecraft, the lever! The lever, no! Oh my god, he starts punching himself. He starts fucking manically punching him in, himself in the face. Oh god, he gets angry. That's too bad for you. No more video games. I guess it's time to do your chores now. Wait, but oh, if we, oh, no, no, this, this, no, this... we had a deal. You can take out the trash while I take your computer. What? The deal was the Minecraft, not my entire computer. Ow. Bro, uh, she make... took the whole computer? Sure you scrub those dishes good. I don't want to see a single spot on them. Yes, Mom. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, hon. How was everyone's day? <laughs> really good. Huh. I can't remember the last time I saw Kennedy doing dishes. What, did he lose a bed or something? Yep, and the house is about to be spick and span without him complaining or sticking his nose in the computer all day. It's a dream come true. Wow, well, good for you. I'm gonna get a snack and then I'm gonna come back and hear about this arrangement. <laughs> Yo, I hate this mom. I actually, like, if my mom was like, bro, if any of y'all's moms are like this, I am so sorry. I am so, I, yo, you're a trooper. Yo, like, actually hats off to you. If you have to deal with a mom that's like that, holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. That would piss me off. Oh, I would not be able to do that. Bro, I would fucking hate that. Oh my god, just fucking take the games and shit for no fucking reason. That was Joe 12 years ago? Oh, my mom was never like this. Oh, never. 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 Oh god, fuck now. Dude, I, I would be so, I would be so upset all the time. Raquel for the thousand biddies. J-Man for the sub. Yeet for the three hundred biddies. Would you like to go on a date to 7-Eleven? No. IB for the sub. Tiptoe for the three hundred biddies. I had a friend whose mom let him play GTA 5 but wouldn't let him play Minecraft because you killed animals in Minecraft. But you kill people in GTA. That makes no fuck. Did she not? Did she not know that in GTA you just murder people? Let go for the three hundred biddies. I was at school today. The lady came in to pre uh, present, try to tell us that cancel culture is going to cause America to become similar to Nazi Germany. The school later apologized for making us listen to her during the assembly. <laughs> Why the fuck did the school bring her on? Like, I could see the issues with cancel culture, but in what way would cancel culture 
change the United States to Nazi Germany. That has no fucking association. Tomahawk for the 300 bits. I want to say I love your content. Watching the streams makes me smile. Dub, Joe's for the 300 bitties. They should try to stare at a... No, not reading that. Tip, not a funny joke. Tip down for the 300 bitties. Uh, they should slaughter a villager next to a robot. See if he decks her in the face. Linko for the 300 bitties. Uh, Saint for the sub. Quiz for the sub. Can I please be done now? I've taken out the trash, cleaned my room, mowed the lawn, and I just finished cleaning the kitchen. Well... Before I make dinner, I still need you to clean the gutters, hose down the driveway, sweep all the floors in the house, and scrub both bathrooms from top to bottom. Hey! I would hate, I would hate her. I would hate her. Not every, uh, every particle of my being would hate, would hate her. Like, that's not even, that's past chores and just being a bitch. That's just being a fucking dick. Just for no reason, just being a dick to your fucking son. Yeah, no fucking reason. It's not even making, a, oh, take out the trash, do the dishes, blah, blah, blah. Clean the gutters, fucking sweep the floor, fucking vacuum the floor, fucking clean the bathroom. Oh, my God. What are you, a fucking maid? Who did this? It's acting, Joe. I know, but there are moms that are actually like this. I'm saying, I, dude, I know it's, I know it's not real. What do you think we're watching some fucking reality show? I'm not that dumb. I'm saying there are mothers that are like this. I would hate my mother if they were like that. Did what? This. The toaster was broken for a while, but now it works. Earlier today, I tried to fix it, but when I tried, it didn't work. Well, you must have just forgotten to plug it back in. Yo, I am flipping the table. I'm punching a hole in the drywall. And then I'm going, I'm giving her the two birds. I'm giving her the two birds. And I'm going to say, give me my fucking laptop back. I'm, give, I'm flipping her the two birds. I'm going to say, yep, it's over. Fuck you. So it does work? Yeah. That means. No! Oh, no! I, I told you I could fix it. I told you, I told you, I told you. Why is he happy? I would be mad. I would be mad. I would be fucking pissed. No fucking shot. I told you, I told you. He starts doing a dance and she's not pissed either. But I would be like, oh my fucking God. Yo, I would, I would, I would be actually so livid that I would just fucking smash whatever I fucking just fixed. Whatever she made me clean, I would make dirty again. And then I would leave. I fixed it. She told me I couldn't fix it, and I fixed it because I won. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Minecraft, here I come. Oh. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something here. Totally. <laughs> yeah, simply never playing Minecraft with my mom. Yeah, sir. Yeah, how the fuck do they have a diamond sword and diamond armor? No food, but he's got one pork chop and a gapple. Bro, come on. Come on, at least get a fucking regular inventory. They're just, they're running through caves with fucking nothing. Watch out. Watch out, the worm's gonna get you. Here, take this potion, you'll need it. That wasn't I a potion, that was a golden apple. I'm out of food, I can't regenerate my health. Uh, take some Bro got the gaming zone. <laughs> Brother got the gaming zone poster. Cooked pork and... Here, take this golden apple just in case. Thanks. I owe you one. Back to the village. I'm right behind you. You know, this game isn't as bad as I thought it was. I didn't know you had to be so creative in it. I just wish you had to leave to go do the laundry. Oh, that's okay. I'll just make your dad do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're not just telling stories. We're making parents look bad. We're telling moms to accept their child's aspirations. We're not just telling stories. We're making kids have a good childhood with these videos. What are they all fucking commenting? I feel like these are bot comments. We're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. What the fuck? 
Uh, Lithin and Ice for the sub quiz for the sub. J-Man for the sub. Raquel for the thousand biddies again. All right. I'm going to go pee, and then we're going to start up the next video. Help me down 30 seconds. Go for the three videos. Have you ever watched Hacksmith video or yet Alex Lab video? No, I have not. If you want me to watch one, you can send it the video suggestion tab. Uh, I may watch it. Me made a real life Iron Man repulsor. That's cool. All right. Next video. Would you pay for sex? Keep it 100. Why are people saying W2 inch? Why is everybody saying W2 inch? Yeah, one of my mods definitely told y'all to say this shit. Whatever. All right. Yo, yo everybody lock in. Can y'all stop spamming W2inch now? Everybody lock in. I'm trying to watch this fucking next video. Would you pay for sex? Keep it 100. Sex. I've been with a prostitute once. How was the experience? Pretty mid. Pretty mid? <laughs> you know, pulled up to an alleyway. She charged me 150. You know, it just wasn't a good scene, man. It was pretty rough, too. I was sitting my uh, uh, Toyota Corolla, dude. It just wasn't enough room. Wasn't enough room. It was just kind of, oh, it was hot. Kind of stunk. You know, I think she told me she had chlamydia, too. It was just not, oh, it was, just, it was mid. It was mid. Would you pay for sex? Whoa. <laughs> um, Wait, what? Would you pay for sex? Okay. That caught me a little off guard. Would you pay for sex? Um. I, I, no. <laughs> no. The fact, if you're saying, uh, that means yes. Would you pay for sex? Uh, yeah, that means, that means yes. Or maybe. No. It would be an immediate no. Would you like, what the fuck? Link up for the 300 bits. Have you ever... Oh, I already read that. Uh, and Joe's for the 300 bits. Do you think you could be an ant eater in a fight? An ant eater? Yes. I could beat the shit out of an ant eater. They're like, they're like small. They're not even that big. And I don't think it would bite me. What's the biggest animal you could beat in a 1v1? The largest animal I could kill in a 1v1, no weapons. I'm going to restrict myself from saying, like, a baby, like, elephant or something because I feel like that's just a cop-out because, like, an elephant, like, yeah, that's just a, you can't, no, no baby animals. It would have to be, like, what's the largest full-grown adult animal that you could kill? JP for the sub. <sighs> By weight, probably a cow. I think I could murder a cow if I needed to uh, with my hands. I, I think there's a chance it would backfire, but I think I could theoretically choke it out. In, in some scenario, in some scenario, I could kill a cow if I needed to. If I, like, if it came down to, somebody said y'all are disgusting. What? Watch your language? What do you mean, watch your language? Hold up. Let me time you out for eight hours. Buddy spamming. Me? Yes. Oh, no. I shouldn't have to pay. 
What? Who else would they be talking to? Um. Did you pay for sex? Me? Yes. You're the only person there. You're the person they're talking to. What the fuck? Oh no. I shouldn't have to pay. Why? Because. Would you pay for sex? If I was rich enough. I'm kind of cheap, so I wouldn't want to like pay and spend money. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty stingy with my money anyways. <laughs> like I have people in my life. Why would I? pay for it for someone else. I just don't think I personally like value. I feel like paying for it too removes the aspect of them wanting to do it with you. Like if you're paying for it, now it's just a service. It's like their work. Like you're not actually, there's no intimacy. Sex to pay for it. <laughs> I used to be married, and once a year, I supported him going to a whorehouse in Nevada. Would you pay for <laughs> Oh my God. For sex? No. Who's the hottest person out there? I think Shawn Mendes. Shawn Mendes willing to have a night of wonderful sex with you, but you're going to have to pay him. I would do that. <laughs> I don't know how much it would cost for Winston Duke because that's my hall pass. I think them asking, <laughs> even if they ask for a dollar, even if they ask for a dollar, they're still asking for something outside of them just wanting to do it. So it would still be a no. I mean, like, Kendall Jenner, I would pay Timothy Chalamet. Like your old paycheck. Yeah. If it was like Chris Whole Hemsworth. Whole paycheck? Bro, they, they ain't even ask how much money. Whole paycheck? You better pay a fucking two weeks pay? Got it. I can maybe afford $100. I think I could swing that. Jason Momoa, if you're watching this, I got $100 for you. Would you pay for sex? Probably. <laughs> I never say never. It's like some really like good, like guaranteed, just great sex. If I just felt like I was getting dry and <laughs> needed a hookup. Getting dry. Get, getting dry. But if you had to pay for a service, what service do you think you'd pay for? Threesome with Ooh. two guys. I would not pay. I, yo, I ain't gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. Hey, I ain't gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. But like out of anything that you would have said, a threesome, God damn. You gonna pay for that? Yeah, uh, do you pay them equally, or you pay them based on performance? And are they doing it with each other, or just you? To watch two people fuck. My husband and I. Have <laughs> what? 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 Ooh. Two guys. I would pay uh, to watch two people fuck. My husband and I. Is it that cock shit? Well, that's if it's your partner. Bro, why would you pay for that? Why would you pay for that? People fuck. My husband and I have talked. Why? I want to know. I want to know the interest in that. Like, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna shit on it. It's just because that's not even a cuck. I said cuck, but that's not a cuck. A cuck would be if you're dating somebody or married to them and you willingly watch them or let them do it with other people. Or no, it's watching them do it with other people. I think. Anyways, what's the appeal of watching two other people do it? I don't understand that. Uh, to watch two people fuck. My husband and I have talked about, like, introducing a unicorn to the situation. What's Another woman that has no, like, emotional interest in the relationship, uh, so... Would you pay for sex? I've been with a prostitute. I just don't understand adding anyone to any... If you're in a relationship, like a monogamous relationship, it's you and one other person, re introducing anyone into that sexual scene is immediately a issue because, Crucible, can you not spam? Immediately, it's immediately an issue in the sense that, like, even if you're both okay with having a sexual relationship with that other individual, how it's balanced is going to be a problem. Because if they're not, if they're giving 80% to one person, 20% to another, then it's immediately an issue and then somebody's going to have a problem with it. Like, it's not, it's not just like, oh, they're getting added into this and then it's a one-time thing, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it would be who who's getting the most attention there. That would be a problem. 
Just a stranger. Thank you for the five gifteds. Wyatt for the thousand biddies. Sorry for calling you a dumbass earlier. I'm not mad, bro. You're, you're good. I was fucking with you. I'm not actually pissed. I know it's not an excuse. I've been really angry lately. I was projecting it onto you. When I get, when you say a dumb chat, not you specifically, but any chatter. When a chatter says a dumb chat and I go off on them for 10 seconds, most of the time, I'm not actually mad. Most of the time, I'm just fucking around. Easton for the 305 bits. Oh, uh, but you're good, bro. Thank you for the thousand, but he's adjusted for the five gifteds. Uh, Easton for the 305 bits. Hand to hand, no weapons, probably a female deer. Scott for the 300 bits. Finally coming out of my depression, I had to clean my room today. Oh, and cleaned my room today. I was watching your YouTube videos the whole time. Dub. Well, I'm glad my YouTube videos could uh, entertain you while you were cleaning your room. And I'm glad that you're getting out of the depressive uh, phase. Or not phase. The depressiveness, if that makes sense. JP not for the sub. Joe's for the 300 bitties. And just a stranger for another sub. To once. Just to try Damn, it. Damn, the Mr. Beast video still isn't out. Yeah, I'm hoping it comes out tomorrow. Experience to once. So, would you pay for sex? I've been with a prostitute once, just to try it to have the experience. How was the experience? Pretty mid. I have paid for a dominatrix and I. I dude, paying for the experience for just to know what it's like, but you would know what it's like even before you've done it. Like that would be like, yeah, I'm gonna get in a car crash just to experience what a car crash is like. Like, you would know what it's like. Like, it's not something that, like, oh, it's like the out of this human realm experience. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to try Coke once. Like, like that's, like, it's not the same. Well, even so, I still don't think you should try Coke once. Oh, God, I'm digging myself a hole here. Fuck. I don't think you, I, I don't think you should do cocaine, period. I don't think you should do Coke, period. We're going to move on. I am a dominatrix. I've did. I have paid for a dominatrix and I am a dominatrix. I've paid for a massage. He asked me if I want- He paid for a happy ending. To go further, and I said yes. I have been to a strip club once. Did they take you up to the VIP room? I don't remember. Did I was kind of drunk. <laughs> okay. What do you consider paying for sex? Like going to a sex worker, physical, intimate. What would you consider paying for sex? Paying for sex. What else would it be? Having a conversation with them? No. Giving them money in exchange for sexual activity. That would be paying for sex. See. Get sexual favors from them? I guess I wouldn't really count like, you know, like blowjobs or hand jobs as that. But like you don't no, that count. would count. That would still count. That would you're still paying for that. That's oral sex. You're still paying for it. That? I wouldn't count that as like full on sex. Anything physical, even if it's just like a lap dance. Always physical. A lap dance? Now, see, I don't know if that's, that's not, there's no, that's not, would y'all count that? That counts? You would count a lap dance as paying for sex. That's not, there's no, you're wearing clothes. There's not, there, you're both wearing clothes. Not necessarily. I guess you could pay for porn. Now in days, especially with OnlyFans and stuff, you can pay people to make a video that's personalized to you. I have paid for porn. Yeah, paid for like pornography and stuff. Have you considered that paying for sex? I would in never a way, I definitely. I would never pay for that. I've never understood that. I've never understood. Yo, know, I'm not even shitting on like OnlyFans workers or anything. Like, bro, they make a fuckload of money. But like, I've never understood. Yo, Joster for the five thousand fucking biddies. Or how do you say your name? Jo Jooster? Jouster? Jouster. I don't know how to say your name. Thank you, Jouster. I'm going to say that for the Jouster447 for the fucking 5,000 bitties. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. But I've never understood that. <gasps> like paying, paying for like pornography, paying for an OnlyFans. Why? Like, like why? When they're like, it, like, like there's free alternatives outside of that. Why would you pay for the same shit? That would be free. Especially people that are paying like 50 bucks and shit for that. No. Monthly memberships. No. I only paid for something sexual that could have been sexually gratifying. So. But Joe Stern, thank you for the 5,000 biddies, bro. That is actually nuts. I guess I did. Ooh, I'm going to start saying that. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> said this is my first time in stream. Oh, God. What an odd video to pop into. First time. Would you ever pay for anything sexual online? Like pictures? No. Penises aren't cute. I don't want to pay for a picture of a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I support my friends that are sex workers by like um, purchasing some of their like content when it goes on sale. Do they make a lot of money? Oh, 
Um, yeah, I, 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 uh, I help my friends out a lot of the time by paying for personalized videos under an anonymous alias. Um, <laughs> they don't know that I buy their, uh, stuff. Uh, they think I'm actually Kingpin45. Uh, but in reality, I'm actually the roommate, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is that weird to pay for a friend's OnlyFans? I, I, me and Zussi had this conversation on, on Sons of the Forest. I would say if, if you're just paying for a base membership, oh God, I don't know. Like, I, it, it, like if you're buying personalized videos, like outside of the base membership, definitely that's odd. Ugh. If you're paying for the content, is that weird? If they knew it, if they knew that you were doing it and they were okay with it, no. But if you're paying for it and you're getting off to it, yes. If you're just buying it, no. If you're getting off to it, that's weird. That's weird because they're your friend. That's that's the disconnect. When you're using the OnlyFans is when it's odd. If you're just giving them the money... That's different. Ice, ice shroom for the sub one hard. I would still say, I don't know. That's still a thin line on whether or not that's weird. They make a good amount. Like my friends have nice apartments. <laughs> this may sound strange, but I just found out maybe a month ago what OnlyFans is. I don't have any social media. Have you ever paid for anything online sexually? Oh, no. this may sound, I, a month ago I found out what OnlyFans is and I, um, uh, I, I, I had it downloaded at one point. Is there an app for OnlyFans? I don't know. I'm going to act like there's an app. Uh, I had to download the app, and um, I may or may not have, uh, you know, subscribed to uh, 45 different creators. And bought 47 personalized videos. Aw, oh, there's so much free! People pay for things? No, I'm not the visual. Now give me a good book. Is it okay for people to pay for things? Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, I don't care what other I people. don't give a fuck. People want to pay for sex. People want to pay for sex. Whatever. Ain't, ain't my problem. No. <laughs> I don't judge How people. old is Joe? I am 21 years old. I just turned 21. Bro, Joester for another 5,000 fucking biddies, bro. God damn. Joester447 for the fucking 5,000 bits. God damn, bro. Thank you for the fucking 10,000 bits cumulatively. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you, bro. OnlyFans, what is that? I've never heard of it. Okay. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. But Joe, sir, thank you for the 5,000 bits. I don't know if I'm saying your name right uh, again, but thank you for the 5,000 bits. Who do, if that's what you need to do. I know some people, like, really just crave, uh, like, the affection or... Mm. Like somebody to talk to. Sex work is a very important part of our economy, for sure. Is it okay to pay for sex? Personally, no, I don't think it's okay. I know there's like a new school, like third wave feminism thought that prostitution is like freeing for women, but I think it is always like just not good. I think it's hard to pay. I think it's fine in the realm of if they're doing it willingly. You know, like if they're wanting to go into that career, if somebody wants to go into OnlyFans or something and they want to do that themselves. Like, I don't, is, isn't sex work still illegal in the United States though? Sex work in the sense of not pornography or OnlyFans. I'm saying like prostitution. Prostitution is legal in many European countries, but it is not, I'm pretty sure it's not legal in any U.S. state. For Not in Nevada. I are there are there some states? There might be. Nevada uh, has legal prostitution. Uh, they've regulated brothels. That was what that lady was talking about. Nevada is the only U.S. state that allows that legally allows prostitution. Joester for the thousand biddies. It's pronounced Joester or J O W. Would that be Jow or Joe? Mr. Round for the sub. Sent. Would you pay for sex? No. 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 Mm. no. Would you pay for sex? 
I think sex is uh, meant to be for love, so. Sex isn't just like a hookup y thing for me. I'm more of like a romantic. Wow, his hair is so fucking like slick regulated. Like he probably spent so much time on that shit. Holy fuck. Heart. It's very much a. 2020 Joe? Yeah, that did look like me for a while. Intimacy bonding between two people. Yeah, I kind of like the emotional connection. And if there's no connection, it's just a stranger come to my face and like, you want to have sex? I'll be like, nope, I'm boring. <laughs> Would you pay for sex? No. How come? Uh, I can be my own best friend. <laughs> Would you pay what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Granny moving mad. <laughs> Joker for the sub. Pay for sex. Not personally. No. I don't like it that much. <laughs> what about like, have you bought like a magazine or something? No, do they still have magazines available? <laughs> Would you pay for sex? I think for have me- Have you ever bought a magazine or something? No, like, um, uh, no, what's a magazine? No, what? what's a magazine? For sex, I don't know if that other person would be as engaged. I'd be afraid of diseases. I don't have anything against it. I just, I do all right myself. What if it's like the baddest girl? Buddy just said he pulled. Baddest girl I've ever and seen. And it's like a hundred dollars to do whatever you want. Still no. Have you ever paid for sex? No, I've been paid for sex. I did camming. I used to have like an OnlyFans. Camming? Paid for sex? No, I've been paid for sex. I did camming. I used to. What is camming? like an OnlyFans and stuff. How much do you make? Five or six thousand in a month. <laughs> I, <laughs> I used to have like an OnlyFans. Ever paid for sex? No, I've been paid for sex. I did camming. I used to have like an OnlyFans and stuff. How much do you make? Five or six thousand in a month. <laughs> I'd sell feet pics. So I entertained it about a decade ago being an escort in Vegas because I, I know they make bank. Would you ever let someone pay you to have sex? No, I don't think so. What if it was like $100,000? If it was $100,000, well, maybe. <laughs> this is a tough one. Uh, I think about it. You gonna it. turn down 100 k You gonna turn down 100 k What the fuck? Maybe at some point. If I'm turned into a sugar baby, that's another story. Economy's tough out here. Eggs are $15. If I'm like down on money and I need to make some, like. I gotta do what I gotta do. If my face was not a- Would you do it for 100K? Well, no, I have a girlfriend. So any amount of money that somebody would offer me, I would immediately say no, because I would never cheat on Brooke. L fucking mentality from other people that would ask me that question otherwise. What the fuck? No. But I'm saying as these people are single, they're being offered a million dollars like at that point, but no. I have a girlfriend, so any amount of money, any amount of money anybody would offer me, I would immediately still say no. Catch? Of course I would. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I guess depending on the price. How much would you charge for like a hand job? Hundred bucks or something. <laughs> <laughs> just bucks, you could have said any number. You're gonna be loud. You're gonna lowball it, but you just said you. They, you could have said like a thousand. You could have said like ten grand. How much for? How much for that? A hundred dollars, bro. Out up your prices. Like a, it's just, yeah. Maybe like a couple hundred, 200. I'm gonna give you 500 if you just like do some hand stuff. Um, no, I'd probably do it. If someone tossed me like a thousand dollars, bro, Joestar for the 10 fucking gift is Lake for the 2100 pennies. Love watching your streams every day after school. Thank you. Ice for the 450 bits. Uh, a lot of factors come into it, like certain types of add ons, for example, farting. I don't like it personally, but people will do it and no one will stop them unless it's not legal in their country. Joestar for the 10 gifted again. Hold on. When it comes to paying for S hash X, a lot of other factors come into it like certain types of add-ons. For example, farting. I don't like it personally, but people will do it and no one will stop them unless it's not legal in their country. Farting? What do you mean by farting? Like someone would pay to get farted on? How do you how do you hold in a like what are they holding in the farts? Like is it like a, a scheduled event? Uh.
Joestar for the 10 gifteds again, bro. I, I might think about it. $100,000 like a hand, for a hand job. I would think I would think about saying yes, probably, but I think I would end up. Is it ever okay to cheat? No. Dude, I like now I gotta now I gotta add that video. Now I gotta add this video to a fucking queue. We gotta watch that another fucking day. Damn, they uploaded that a, yeah, a day ago. We're not gonna watch that right now though. All right. The Luke star for the sub ranking couples from most to least attractive. I feel like this is gonna be very offensive. Like rating a couple lower comparable to another one. Like is it all for physical attractiveness or just genuine attractiveness? Flying for the fucking three hundred biddies. Watch your streams high as fuck is so funny, man. Thank you. And Doc for the sub. Have y'all ever like, been to a club with one another? Yes. No, we haven't. We went to the club. No, we did not. Oh. You must be thinking of somebody we else. We went to the bowling alley, babe. What do you mean? The Friday night bash? Taco Tuesdays? They had $2 beers? You don't remember that? They had the dance floor? Babe, that's not a club. What do you mean? Oh, oh no 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 that, no that's your other other flight. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm Joe. Today you're gonna be ranking couples attractiveness. How do you feel about that? I'm ready. Great. I'm excited. You know, I'm just a little bit nervous. And why are you nervous? How long were her nails? Wow. You know, I'm just a little bit nervous. And why are you nervous? Are humans supposed to rank each other on a scale of one to ten? Like, is that a good idea? How are you going to rate these couples' attractiveness? Um, Yo, why is my whole chat bugging the fuck out that this guy's name is Joe? Like, you guys are like, oh my god, his name's Joe too. Joe's like a top, mo top six most common name in the fucking U.S. But he's freaking out that his name's Joe. Half of you guys are probably named fucking Joe. There's literally like fucking 30 Joes in my stream right now. Allie for the sub. Love, kindness, genuine sense of uh, affection in public. You can tell that it's intimate behind doors. I'm thinking starting by ranking how I feel about someone's heart and then thinking about- you I feel like you rate the couples based on their connectivity. Like you can tell when a couple's gonna last. Most of the time because of how well they vibe together. Like when there's like an awkward connection, they don't look like they're like matched. It's like a puzzle piece. They don't fit together. What my dick might say about that. Barbecue <laughs> boy said, hi, I'm not Joe. Yeah, chat, you don't, yeah, now, now motherfucker's saying, my name's Harvey, my name's Max. Bro, I don't, you don't need to tell me your name. Fuckable, maybe. Yeah, you're hesitant to say that out loud? You want me to say it louder? Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. How would you rate you and your partner? I say 5.8. We're working toward communication. 5.8 out of 10? Isn't that really bad? You do someone. I have no type when it comes to women. Like, I love women of all shapes, sizes, colors, anything. Men, I'm a little more specific. Someone who's like assertive. Are you ready? I'm ready. First couple, you can come on in. Hi there. Hi. I, I'm so sorry for what they're putting you through. <laughs> it's all good. Like, you're really okay. fun. You have to open Yo, y'all fuck with guys wearing crop tops, though. I've been thinking about rocking that shit. It's kind of a vibe, especially if you got, like, if you're, like, shredded in the summer. Nah, that, like, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Yeah, I know a motherfucker's about to say no. Yeah, everybody, else, oh, no, don't do that. Bro, but I'm talking, like, hold up. Hold up. Like, I'm walking around, you catch me, I'm like, what's up? What's up? No, that kind of looks dumb as fuck. I don't know. It looks kind of stupid. Bro got the dad belly. What? Tummy reveal. But he just said tummy reveal. Relax. Uh, Keekin for the sub, Allie for the sub, wife for the three committees. How does somebody get into a cut video? You have to be the lowest level NPC to accept going to one of these videos. They pay them. Yourselves up to, to, to potentially wolves. What do you guys do for work? Um, I'm a behavioral health associate. And I set up displays for like TVs and stuff. That was boring. <laughs> yeah. How long have you two been together? About two months, Very but we've recent. known each other for. We went years. to high school together. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Turn around and. Why is that aww? We went to high school together. Aww. What the what the fuck is romantic about that? We attended the same school. Aww. What, what, what's so, what's so fucking, 
What's so nice about that? Each other my eyes and show a little moment of love <laughs> and intimacy. When you're looking, what are you thinking? I just like his eyes. I think he looks happy. I see a very adorable person. Oh. <laughs> you guys ever have three sounds, four sounds? You guys have any of that? No. No. I know. You came here to get you ever fish him before? All right, you ever shove a Pringles can up his ass? No, yes. No? All right, two out of ten. Next. You never, you ain't ever done some weird shit like that? What's the weirdest thing you done? Hun, <laughs> hun, I shoved a sour, I shoved a sour fucking cream and onion Pringles can up this guy's ass one time. You're telling me you haven't done that? No? Out. Get out of here. You're rated and you're not going to do any of that? We're boring. What? what? <laughs> I would give y'all a 7 out of 10 as a couple. Nice. He's open. You're open. I would say a 7. I'm going to give you guys a joke. She's positive. No! Yo! No! Bro, I literally said two. She said two. Bro, the weird shit. I know she's going to rate the people that say they've done weird fucking shit higher. Oh, my God. She's got a nice little booty. I would... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll bring out the next couple. Oh. Hello, <laughs> how are you guys? Good. Well, I like her already. I can tell. She's like, you're like aggressive. I like that. So how long have you all been dating? It's like a year and four. Yo, months. he has no hair on his legs. Like none. Do y'all like this is for the guys? Do y'all shave your legs? I ain't gonna diss a guy that shaves their legs. I just think that is a fucking process. For a man to shave, but I got some hairy ass fucking thighs. I got some hairy ass fucking like, yeah, dude. If I had to shave my legs, bro, that would be a fucking two hour adventure to fucking shave my legs. No, I'm not going. I'll shave my armpits. I shave my armpits. I'll shave my chest. I'll shave my face. But hell, I'll even shave like the fucking shoulder hair. I'm starting to get. But like, no, I'm not. I'm never shaving my legs. Never shaving my legs. It's like a year and four months. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. four almost months. a year and a half. Yeah. Has it been a battle? No. Or has it been a bliss? A breeze. Even. Ooh, that's yeah. beautiful. Uh, you got you turn around. Yeah, all the way around, both of you. Yeah. I like it. Hey. <laughs> what kind of things do you like to do for each other? For oh. each other. We love to feed each other. Yeah. Cook for each that. other together. Are you two ready to feed each other? Like, because like that, I would love to like you know be able to observe. Oh, okay. That is okay. mad weird. I don't feed each other. Y'all just casually be fucking like, what, some movie type shit? Fucking chocolate strawberries? Open up. No, just fucking eat. I got my own damn hands. Fucking, I, I, I got a fork. I can fucking feed myself. I mean, I, like, I've done that with Brooke casually like once in a while. Oh, like, I, like funny or not even funny. Like, oh, once in a while. Yeah, it's nice. But like, I ain't going to be fucking just sitting there for hours fucking feeding grapes and shit. This ain't the fucking Greco-Roman times. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm just in love. <laughs> uh, we'll put it over here. Just in love. You're not yeah, this guy's capping out the ass. Buddy is fucking feeling awkward as hell. Thank you. How was that for you? Well, um <laughs> <laughs> I think it was good for us. So. I, I, I was sweating. I feel like I, I got invited. Was, I started sweating. Um I started to black out a little bit. I started I started like convulsing. I started breathing really heavily. I got a little bit nauseous, too. It was just, it was, ugh. like, I, I don't know if you saw me in the corner. I was, I was, like that. To something, something, something intimate. <laughs> you invited us and yourself. Did you guys make out? Who's good? Who uses their tongue better? You guys wow. want to make out? Who uses their tongue better? Better. Make out. <laughs> I want you guys make out, like, with tongue, though. Like <laughs> make out. Make out. Right now. Make out. Tell There's me a kiss. No God, you guys, stick your tongues out. <laughs> all right, now, all right, now, and she hands him the Pringles can, or she hands her the Pringles can. All right, all right, all right. It's already lubed up. Sneak it in. Sneak it in. Here's the sour Pringles can. It's empty. I swear to God. I already ate all the Pringles. I ate the Pringles are gone. Yeah, no, don't worry. I cleaned it out. I cleaned it out. I lubed it up. It's ready. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a seven. I think you guys are fun. Maybe I would get down with you guys and play. Maybe. No, they don't want to have a threesome with you. Why the fuck is she sliding this in every fucking time? Sliding in the threesome. Maybe I'll get down with you guys. She don't. They don't want to get down with you. Oh my god. What the fuck? 
I'm gonna give them a seven, I think. You guys are fun. Maybe I would get down with you guys and play. Maybe. Maybe after this film, you know, we could pop over to the local motel. You know, I already laid out all the fucking tarps and shit. I got I got everything laid out. You know, we could go wild in there. We could go fucking crazy. Anything we want. I already got everything. I got the walls lined. I would give you both an eight out of ten as a couple. Great. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Joe is high. I'm not high. I'm actually not high right now. Swear to God. Bo from the Fringe Bitties. First donor decided uh, to give it to you. You're my favorite streamer. Thank you. Ice for the Fringe Bitties. Uh, cut seems like a one-way ticket uh, uh, to be an NPC uh, and be clowned on by millions of people. Well, yeah, but I think they know that getting into it. Blue for the sub wide for the Fringe Bitties. Do you ever drink pickle juice? No, I also don't like pickles. Bro, Joester for the 10,000 bitties, bro. Oh my god. Last bit dono today, and if you could time travel to any time period, what time period would it be? Bro, fucking Joester for the 10,000 bitties, dude. Last bit dono today, bro. You didn't even need you didn't even need to give that many bitties just now. That is crazy. Fucking 20,000 bits today. Luke's for the sub. If I could time travel to any period. <clears throat> if you're genuinely saying any time period, like any period ever, I would go to the start of the Big Bang and I would just watch that. But if you're saying like human history, so human time period meaning human history, probably the Egyptian uh, pyramids time. Uh, when they were starting to form a societal language that was, like, being, in, not enforced, but, like, taught to everybody equally, uh, they started building the pyramids, <clears throat> stuff like that. I don't have, like, an, I don't have, like, an obsession, like some people do with, like, conspiracy theories with the pyramids, but being able to see how that was made with, like, early societies and shit, uh, yeah. Or Jesus' time. I, yeah, that would be a really good, yeah, Jesus' time, and I'm gonna stand right outside the tomb. I'm going to stand right outside the tomb, right? And I'm going to see if that motherfucker slides that shit out and walks out, you know? Because that, that would just definitively tell me whether or not, you know, that would, just, that would just immediately prove or disprove Christianity, just if I could just stand right there and just watch it, you know? I feel like that's, a, that's an easy answer as well. Bro, Joester for the 5,000 bits. He says W answer, so this is the last no-no. Bro, thank you for the 5,000 fucking bits, too. My God, DJ for the three inch bitties. But either of those. I would be fine with going back to the Egyptian time or, or the, yeah, like standing outside Jesus' tomb. Even the 1600s during the witch trials. Just to see that shit. You know, maybe gaslight some people. DJ for the three inch bitties. After I said 300 bits yesterday, I lost $200 because of the LinkedIn subscription I tried to get a free trial for. You could refund that. If you accidentally purchased a $200 LinkedIn subscription, you should be able to refund that. And Joe Sturr for the 5,000 bitties. Thank you for that shit. How long have you guys been together? Almost. Somebody said, can you ban? Hold up. Oh, they keep saying two inch. Are you single? Can you date me? Ooh, weird. Yeah, weird. Almost 10 years. Marriage okay, status. How long have you guys been together? Almost 10 years. Marriage status. Oh my God. <laughs> my relationships don't last in six months most of the time. <laughs> when you think about your 10 year relationship, what is the first highlight that comes to mind? I think we do really well together mm -hmm. in bad situations. Mm. I think I would have to agree with him. We make light of every situation that we're in. Have y'all ever like, been to a club with one another? Yes. No, we haven't. We went to the club. No, we did not. Oh. You must be thinking of somebody else. Oh, no, 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 no. That, no that's your... Brooke does that to me. Oh, my God. Just to piss me off. I'll be like, I'll be telling a story. She'll be like, I don't remember that. I'll be like, bro, it literally happened yesterday. She'll say, must have been your other girlfriend. And I'll go, Brooke. And then I'll just stare at her. And I'll just go, come on. And then she'll be like, okay. And then, she, yeah, no, it's literally just, it's just gaslighting. It's just trying to, it, it's a joke usually. Sad for the sun. Other, other yeah, wife. Damn sure was it me. What do you guys do for work? Uh, manager for an internet company. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a secretary. You're a sec are you his secretary? No, but we do like to role play with that, so. You guys like to role play? <laughs> yeah. So, are you gonna role play for me right now? Do you guys like to role play? 
Have you ever acted like you were, like, aliens with, like, you know, like, Pringles cans for hands, and then you kind of just, like, you know, sneak it into his ass? Oh. Oh. oh on the spot. <laughs> well, no. Role play for me. <laughs> Role play for me right now. Do it. Act it out. Act it out. Here it is. Oh, my God. I mean, we could. You didn't really, like, turn in your reports on time. Oh, Mr. Collins, I'm so sorry. Anything I can do to make it up to you? <laughs> oh, you're horrible. You get bad points. You're not good at role playing. Okay. I like her. She gave the best effort, but Boo Boo was dragging you down a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna give you all a five. <laughs> you love each other no matter who's watching. And that's good. Yeah. So I'll give you all seven. She's only rating them purely on sexual activity. She's not rating them on, like, actual couple connectivity or, like, emotional compatibility or, like, how they actually fucking work together. She's only just saying, okay, how do y'all fuck? If it doesn't look interesting, I'm gonna rate you low. Like, I feel like that's just, like, not, like, she, like, she was, she was just saying, oh, her relationships don't last long. I wonder why. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick. But, like, damn, like, you're only rating them on sexual activity. Like, like that is not, that is a very thin margin of, of a relationship. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I would give y'all... Uh, Quicks for the three says you should play Contraband Police. We're playing that tomorrow. <laughs> We're literally playing that tomorrow. Instead of Police Him, I'm done with Police Him. We're playing Contraband uh, Police tomorrow. Joster 447 man. Oh my god. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifted subs, dude. Oh my god. Dub in the chat. Thank them if you got a sub. And thank you for the fucking 50 gifted. Bro, that is so many fucking subs. Thank you for the fucking subs, Joster. Holy shit. We're at 100 fucking 16 subs today now. My god. Thank you for the fucking gifteds, dude. Genuinely. Holy fucking shit. Thank you for the subs. Dub in the chat for that. My God. Thank them if you got a sub. 50 people just got a fucking free sub. From Joester447. You said that was your last goddamn dodo today. Now you gave fucking 50 gifteds. Token for the fucking five gifteds too. Or is that toked? It's token or toked? Thank you for the fucking five gifteds. Toked gaming underscore YT. And fucking Joester. Thank you for the 50 gifteds, bro. My God. My God. Holy shit. This looks like, this looks like an attention-based thing. I'm going to time you out, bro. Oh, wrong user. Bro, no user matches that login? Jesus Christ. Last try. Fucking spelling Michael wrong. Yeah, there we go. All right. But Joster, thank you for the 50 gifteds and toked for the, or toked, fuck, toked for the five gifteds. Joster for the 50. A nine out of ten. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. We got a, like a quick glimpse into like how you two communicate. If and people I have been together for ten years, they must immediately not be that bad of a couple. Like you could be a bad couple, but if you've been dating for ten years, you must have something going right. I like that it's, it's real and it's to the point. <laughs> Hello, y'all. All right, so right off the bat, you two are looking super duper cute. Like getting a whiff of like some good, some good scents. Like whether it's like hair, someone's hair product, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are beautiful. I love them already. What would you guys rate yourselves as a couple? What would you think you'd be rated as? We're definitely a 10 out of 10. I agree, almost, maybe. What made you all say, ah, I'm gonna be with her. I just almost, agree. maybe? Trey's energy. I was just really drawn towards them. And I was like, wow, I think about this person. I'll see you later, Susie.
all the time. I don't want to spend all my time with them. I'm gonna put this on a five. Okay. Um, what do you think would have like raised our score? Saying something that's not sound cliche. Five. Okay. I think that I would rate you to a nine out of ten. Okay. I really feel like the the height of where it's going to go is going to be very very delightful yeah. and beautiful. You guys ever have fun with other people outside your relationship? Bro, she gotta be sliding into it. She she gotta be trying to slide into a threesome. Like she has to be trying to slide into a threesome. Like every fucking couple. Mm -hmm. uh, have y'all ever like done like swinger activity before? Have y'all ever gotten in a threesome? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I mean, if, uh, I would think about it. Um, no, not usually. <laughs> oh, they were. A two. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. From a ten to a nine. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Oh, ten to a nine. She was giving everybody else a two when they said no. Leap for the sub. Good. Oh, that's it. I'm going to give y'all a 1.7. Bye bye. See you later. How you doing? You're a leader. Joe. John Luke, nice to meet you. John Luke. Jade. Jade and John Luke. Jade. Yo, I like his Jade? fit. He's dripped out. He's like, I got them J's on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Imagine you're having a really rough day. You just got home and you see each other. You know, how, do, how would you embrace one another? I usually just like pick her up. I'm but like, <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, thank you. Can I see you like turn around? Can you do like a little spin? Like you're so cute. She's so cute. And I guess you can turn around too. <laughs> Not that there's much, I don't think there's as much to see. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you guys been together? Yo, I'm flaming her. I'm flaming her, bro. You diss me, it's over. I no, I'm not actually, bro. First, she's like, because it's not even like she's telling, like she's done it with like every girl. It's like getting past like just telling somebody they're cute and just kind of being like weird. And then she's like, oh yeah, no, you can turn around. Not like there's anything going on. Oh my god, if that's me, I'm fucking going off. No. A month now. Okay, they're fresh. Initially, who made the first move to say, let's stop playing the radio and let's make music? I just knew that I liked him a lot and I asked him if he wanted to be exclusive. Yo, chat, do I crack a, do I crack a Jeep here? Is this a Jeep angle? Elite for the sub. I think I'm thinking it's a Jeep angle right now. Yes. Uh, hit a jeeb? Yeah, I'm never hitting a jeeb, brother. No, you will never catch me doing that. One of my friends has a jeeb record out of college. He hit like 18 jeebs in a row or some shit. Never partaking in that, though. Clickbait. Clickbait. Peep the calluses. Means I'm a hardworking man. Anyways, 20% off. Code Joe B. If he says no, like, I have to stop. Somebody redeemed headset that. Ugh, cringe. Papa Miller light. Papa Millie light. No. No. I, I actually, I got more high noons for days I want to drink those on stream, but I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be drinking Miller's, bro. I like him so much, it would hurt me. <laughs> the transparency. You feel the tension just leaving? I will have to give you all... A four because it's so fresh. I'm gonna give you a seven out of ten. Where you two are out of your relationship, it's, it's still kind of the beginning, but I think it's still gonna like continue to blossom. The one, <laughs> you guys are gonna get the one. I just don't see the chemistry yet. I just feel you guys are just friends. I guess you guys would go all the way down here, right? <laughs> wow. No, she can't. She can't. Like you know when you're standing, and you're just kind of like your hands curl. Like this, like you see my hands, her hands have to go like this because they can't curl because they'll hit her. If she curls her hands, they'll hit, they'll hit her there. Like, I feel like that would piss me off, like, that would agitate me. <laughs> Joster for the 50 gifted again, dude, bro. You said your last dono was the fucking bit dono you sent like 10 minutes ago. Now you just gave me a hundred fucking subs.
Dead cupcake for the sub. Joe thank you for the 50 fucking gifteds, dude. God damn. Thank you for the fucking subs. Thank you, baby. You got a sub, bro. We're at 223 subs today. Thank you for the fucking gifteds, dude. My God. <sighs> bro, it's about being attractive, not sexuality and connection. Well, it's how attractive the couple is as a couple. So it's not just about how hot they are physically. It's about how well they work as a couple. There is sexuality in like intertwined with it. But she was basing it almost entirely off of that. And bro, thank you for the fucking 50 gifted Joster. And sad for the thousand biddies. I'm a new sub and I just got paid. So my money goes to you as a broke college student. Bro, you don't need to give me a thousand fucking biddies when you just popped your paycheck. Donations are optional. Uh, I, you, do, you do not have to sub to my channel. You're allowed to watch for free. I don't even run mid-roll ads. I only run pre-rolls for non-subs. You're allowed to watch me for free. But uh, I do appreciate the thousand biddies. But if you are in need of money, do not feel the need to give me money. Uh, it is entirely optional. But thank you for the thousand biddies. Dead cupcake for the sub and show, sir. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifted, bro. I was, um... It's a bit disappointing, huh? Was... Are you playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again? Never in my entire life. Please stop asking. That was called blood in. I mean... <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, not once you have a following. Once you have a following on Twitch, you can ride that out. But you cannot grow from nothing on Twitch uh, anymore. Easily. At all. Uh, in my opinion, I would, I would genuinely say growing from zero viewers is actually impossible on Twitch. Um, but once you have like 20, 30 viewers, then you can grow. Uh, it's just because like when you go on Twitch, uh, you're usually already watching people that you already know from outside of Twitch, or, or even if you know them as Twitch streamers, you might find recommendation tabs and stuff, but it only recommends people that have like 40 or 50 viewers or more. 
Uh, you're not going to go into, like, the Call of Duty tab and scroll down to a guy that has zero viewers. Um, it's very unlikely. Can't see for the sub. Going to be tasting meat for the first time in... Two Inch said, Cap, I have a thousand followers. Yeah, but that's from me. <laughs> that's, that's from me. I'm not trying to take the credit for it. But the reason you got followers is because I would raid you when you were fucking streaming. Gruel for the sub. 30 years. Connections is another big thing. If you get connections to big streamers, then that'll probably boost you. Oh, that's a nice ass steak. Me. I've been a vegetarian for about a year now. So I'm really just... All right, what the fuck is this? You've been a vegetarian for a year, tried meat for the first time. You ate meat a year ago. You ate meat a year ago. But you, like, like you're going to forget what a fucking steak tastes like? It's been one year. He turned off meat, so I'm really nervous. <laughs> Coming up to five years, I would be vegetarian. See, now five years. Fucking even, dude, even two years. Even two years. You haven't had meat in two years. I feel like you would start forgetting it. But one year... One year, you're not really going to fucking... You're going to still remember what a fucking chicken nugget tastes like. But like two years? Okay, now it's starting to get foggy as fuck. Three years? All right, now you don't remember. Very now, I'd say. I fell off the wagon once or twice at the start. Because not easy. But yeah, good five years. Oh, I'm, I'm happy that they're Irish too. I love watching people that are Irish. I love the accent. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, what a great what a great way to break that. What a great way to break being vegan for five years. Sausages wrapped in bacon? God damn. God damn. Dude, put a put a fucking pancake around that. Oh, oh, that'll make it perfect. Put a mini, a miniature pancake around that. Oh. Oh my god. It's sausage with is that bacon around it, is it? So I've only ever had a barbecued vegetable, so <laughs> It's not as good as I remembered, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -mm. I'd much rather have my tofu. That wasn't even Irish. Hold up. I'd much rather have my tofu. How would they say tofu? I always, I always think, whenever I think Irish accent, I try to imitate Conor McGregor. What the fuck are you talking about? No, that wasn't even... Fuck, I can't do an Irish accent. <laughs> tofu, tofu. How would they say tofu? How would an Irish person say tofu? Tofu, tofu. Right. Tofu, <laughs> tofu. Fuck, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll take one more. <laughs> I won't do it. Touch it. No. I just couldn't imagine swallowing it. Bro, are they really not gonna swallow any of these things? <gasps> no. Go oh, that looks gross. <laughs> That looks like one of those cartoon steaks. Oh my god, why are the burn marks so fucking perfect? It's like, oh, and it doesn't even look like a good cut of steak, bro. Yeah, that's dead ass a Minecraft steak. That fucking shit, you know, you know when you were like an infant and you would play with like fucking toy carrots and shit so you'd learn the names of things? You ever get a steak, that's what it would look like. Just the fucking perfect grill marks. Oh god. <laughs> That looks awful. That looks so bad. This is not a steak. Oh, no, like grill marks are good, but that just looks like it looks, I, it just looks weird. Gosh, even cutting this is hard. So one thing you never have to worry about with vegetables. <laughs> I knew it was gonna, unseasoned. There'd be meat involved, but you know what? I didn't even, I wasn't even gonna allow myself to think what kind of meat. Jesus, how did people Part do boy said he's offended. That looked bad. That one looks even, uh, that one, like, that one looks like they didn't, like, try to fucking purposely do the grill marks, but it still looks bad. Like, that looks like a plain-ass steak. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's because they fucked it up. Why the hell are the people that did that film this fucking making the steaks themselves? Just go to a fucking Outback. Oh, wait, no, they live in Ireland. Do they have, like, an Outback Steakhouse in Ireland? That's what I would do if I was filming one of these fucking videos. Just get them to cook it. Fuck, and then it's easy. Then you know, then, then it would just be something that everybody likes. Is that enough of a taste? Yeah, and get him a filet. Why the fuck are you giving him some steak that's like kind of like subjective taste? No one dislikes a filet. <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like food. Oh my god, yeah, there we go, a chicken wing. Fuck, fuck, there we go, a chicken wing. You can't fuck up with that. I swear to god, they better give him flats. 
go give him a spicy. What? Just give him like a dry rub. So dipping the chicken in the blue cheese, is that cheating? Okay, no, that's as good as I remember. Strangely, out of all the meats, chicken I is the- I love chicken wings. I love chicken wings. I love chicken wings. I don't even know how many chickens I've been responsible for the killing of, but they're so good. They're so good. I can't not eat them. And the seasoning, dude, even plain chicken wings. I could eat plain chicken wings. I would still enjoy them. No seasoning. You just fucking throw, you cook them. I would eat them. The one that I really can't stand, even the thought of. Oh my God. Even just the, the fact you have to touch it with your fingers. Just. Oh my God, yo, she's starting to piss me off. She's, yo, don't come on the show if you're not gonna eat the fucking chicken wing, all right? I'm not disrespecting the fact that you're fucking vegan. That's fine, okay? I don't give a fuck about that. I'm getting kind of agitated, though, that you're fucking sitting here saying, oh, I'm not gonna, I, uh, I just have the fact that I gotta touch the bones and shit. Oh, my God. Well, then don't come on the show. I'm an anonymous gifter for the five gifted subs. Who the fuck gave me five gifted subs? They gave me six. They, they anonymously gifted fucking six subs. Sad for the sub. Tag you for the subs, half for the forge biddies. What's your favorite animated movie and why? Favorite animated movie? Mm. Top animated movies all time. I don't really know off the top of my head, so I have to look and then I'll pick one. <sighs> animated movie. Chat, what's your favorite animated movie? Fuck. I mean, like, my mind immediately goes to, like, Disney, but I feel like there's better animated movies. Ugh, I don't know. Wally. Chainsaw Man's a show. Sausage Party. Sausage Party was all right. I would not say that's my favorite. Fuck, dude. You know, I'm going to have a bad take here. It, ugh. Oh, Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots is a good one. Dude, maybe even the Lorax. Because, <laughs> like... I've, dude, that's like the only animated movie I've seen like seven times. Like the Lorax, bro. I'll watch the Lorax. King of the Trees, Speaker of the Trees, that shit. It's kind of fucking stupid though. I don't really, ugh, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite animated movie. I have a lot of favorite animated shows. But movies? Fuck. Up? Up is pretty fire. I haven't even seen Up in a while. Like the meaning of Up. I think the writing of Up is pretty good. And they also make it, like, consumable for, like, everyone. The Grinch? No. Dude, the animated Grinch was awful. And whoever gave me those five subs, thank you. Tipped up for the thousand biddies. I'm Irish. You're hurting my ears. Bro, you're saying my Irish accent is killing you? The fuck are you talking about, mate? Nah. See, I'm, like, I'm like mixing, like, a British accent and an Irish accent. Fuck. Give me, like, a sentence to say in an Irish accent. Tell you for the 400 biddies. Uh, you're my comfort streamer. I want to say thanks for being who you are. Thank you. Uh, sad for the 3 bet. He's cruel and console for the sub flying for the 4 bets. Uh, and I'm a skifter for the fucking two more subs. The Batman Bart for the sub. Suge for the sub. Sad for the sub. That's not Irish. Irish. I love potatoes. I love potatoes. Potatoes. Bro, I gotta, I gotta hear an Irish person speak. I gotta go to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor talking. Here he Bro, Joe, sir, from the fuck... Joe, sir, you're gonna make me fucking freak out, man. You're gonna make me freak the fuck out. Joe, sir, oh my god. 150 fucking subs. 150 fucking subs in a goddamn day. 50 fucking subs right there. You literally said that you were done giving fucking subs and bits and everything fucking 5,000 fucking bits ago. Oh my god. Wait, that made no sense. You said you were done giving me fucking bitties when you gave me 5,000 fucking bits and donos. Then you give me 150 fucking subs. What the fuck? Thank you for the 50 fucking gifteds. Joester447. My God. Thank you for the fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub. And thank you for the fucking subs. You just gave it 150 fucking subs for free. Speaking of the speed of light right now, might as well be a goddamn one of those show people. Uh, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four. Fuck. Thank you for the 50 gifteds. Is. 45 pound, the real hardest hitting 145er right here. This guy TKOs people when I knock people. No, damn well who I Anyone else has for me around here? I might have to jump up and drag Floyd Mayweather out, Ben. See what I might have to jump up and drag Floyd Mayweather out to the ground. He's nothing. He's been nothing. Floyd Mayweather has nothing on me. 
He's just been sitting there. I've been drinking my own alcohol. What, what is his beer brand? Or what is his alcohol brand? Fucking 99 proof. I've been sitting there. I got the best, I got the best alcohol in the world. Seen here, Floyd Mayweather said he wants to jump me with his boys. Buddy, I'll knock your teeth out. That's good. That was a good, that was a good accent. That was a good accent. That was a good accent. Nailed it on that one. Joe Surf for the 5,000 fucking biddies again. Says, now I'm done. <laughs> that was shit. Fuck you, Evo. Fuck you, Evo. I do a better Irish accent than your actual Irish accent. I sound more Irish than you sound Irish. And you're Irish. That's how good my accent is. That's how good my accent is. Joe Surf for the 5,000 biddies says, I'm done giving. Uh, or now I'm done. Thank you for the 5,000 fucking bits, Joester. Oh my god, Kate for the sub, Ducky for the forge bets. What's up with all these gifteds recently? I have no idea. I've been getting a lot of gifteds. My sub count for the last like two months has been absurdly high because of gifteds. I've been sub for a year and a half and following the TikTok longer. Dub and Uga for the sub. What's my, yeah, my sub count's at 6k right now. Normally it hovers at like four. Dude, the fucking gifteds is nuts. Joseph for the 150 fucking subs and the fucking 5,000 biddies. And Pablo for the sub. When I took a bite into it and I touched the bone, I just, oh, it, oh, yeah. Is that for the sub? It's the skin and the... Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so good. This is definitely the worst so far. What, is, the onion burger? That looks fucking awful. Whoever the hell the chef is for fucking facts, period, needs to get fired immediately. What whack ass and is that barbecue sauce on the bottom? What the fuck? Plain ass burger, fucking a whole ass onion. What the hell is that on top? That was bro. That looks like the worst burger I've ever seen. That, I, dude, I need to read the comments. The food they gave them makes me want to go vegan. Upvote, dude. Literally, that looks like that is the worst burger I've seen in a while. That looks awful. Cow. This should be easy because, well, easier, I think, because it's more processed. I can really just taste the meat, like, compared to everything else, where I can really <laughs> just need to spit out. Little McDonald's. She has spit out every single thing that they've fucking tried. Oh, and isn't she the one that's been only vegan for or vegetarian for one year? Like, how, what did she used to like? Oh my god, there's so much. Joe said upvote. It's the same thing. Upvote, like. They're, they're equivalent. Upvote, downvote, dislike, like. Chewing it. Sorry. Ew, no cheese? No cheese on the burg? You got bun, you got bun barbecue sauce. Is that barbecue sauce or ketchup? I don't know. You got bun, some sauce, a fucking burger, oh, a fucking thick ass tomato slice, and then fucking onion, and that's it. <laughs> mm. Some gross yeah, ass ketchup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel the knife cut into it. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, this is my memory of me that you're just chewing and chewing and it's not going anywhere. Veal. Yeah. Oh, veal's fire. I feel bad about eating veal. That's the one thing I actually feel bad about eating. Because it's a baby cow. The boy talks in here. This is how I will donate with the username SL. Because I love you. Why is it bad for a tree to get COVID? It might branch out. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 fucking dollar, the boy toxin. Dup. Thank you for the fucking 50, bro. My God. Boy toxin been give a fucking uh, shitload of shit, too. Through the fucking SL donos, the fucking glitched out donos. Thank you for saying that your that you're fucking name in the user dono. Or the dono itself, your user in the dono. Because now I know that you fucking gave me the 50. Thank you, the boy Toxin, for the fucking $50 dono. My God. What is that? Honestly, with veal, it's kind of the ethical thing. That's why people don't eat it. But in terms of tasting, I can't imagine it's any different. 
my stomach's turn and just even like thinking about biting into it. <laughs> Veal doesn't taste like steak. At all, does it? I don't I don't think veal has a I think veal tastes like its own different meat. Like it doesn't taste like anything. That like it doesn't taste like chicken, it doesn't taste like pork meat or steak. <laughs> it feels so good. What does it taste like? It's very tender. Um Oh dude, I don't know. I would say it tastes closer to pork than it does steak, even though it is cow. In my opinion. But it is good. Because that's nice. <laughs> it is. It's actually nice. It's salty. It just it's not does nothing for salty. me. The taste is just really kind of bland, tissuey. Um, yeah, it doesn't really taste of anything. Give them fish. Please just give them fish. Because then, then they're going to like that. Like a salmon. The texture was much better than the steak. Because it's a baby. Just, I don't look at it as being food anymore. Like, I really just look at it as being a flesh of an animal. Like, I'm a lot more, set, yeah, a lot more assertive now and, and sure that. Ain't it the same fucking thing though? Like, bro, like, yeah, they're, they're moving and they're conscious, but like, dude, there's certain, like, there's certain religions that deem eating animals equivalently as bad as eating, like, plants because they're both living. While one would be moving and one wouldn't. Plants and animals are both alive. Everything you have ever eaten was at one point alive. Anything you have ever eaten was at one point alive. Other than wa like water and shit, you eat living things. That's all you do. A living thing eats other living things. Salt? Well, salt's different, but that doesn't have nutritional value. I'm saying things that have calories and shit. Salt. Okay, the only example people are giving is salt. Sugar? Sugar cane, dumbass. Candy that has living things in it. Read any ingredients of anything you've ever eaten. There's living things that were alive. Even if it's a plant, there's living things in it. Or at once living things. Dirt. Okay, you don't eat dirt, dickhead. Rice? R you really don't think rice was alive. Rice plants. Rice. How do you think they get rice? What do you think? Rice just fucking, they dig it out? What do you think? It's like a mineral? It's a plant. Joster, Joster, remember the call back to like a, a minute ago? You remember? You remember? Wait, <laughs> you can donate like this? Yeah, you remember? You remember how like you remember how like five minutes ago you said, "All right, I'm done now." Right here, right here, right here, right here. You were, right there, right there. Eight minutes ago. Now I'm done. Right. Now I'm done. Yeah, and then and then and then you just send me and then you just send me a fucking. Hundred dollars, bro. Wait, you can donate like this? My God, yes, yes, you can donate like that as well. Yes, they have bit donos, they have subs, and then you can have like PayPal credit card. Those get lumped into one thing. Joster, the hundred dollar dono. My God, buddy, actually relax on the fucking donos now. You've given 150 subs and like 25,000 bits. And then 100 fucking dollars there. 21 for the sub. It quads from three Jimitties. Uh, What do you think about the new Fortnite season? I've not played it yet. We'll play it soon enough. Um, But I don't know. I'll give my opinion when I test it out. Next Thursday, we're definitely playing it. Because I'm doing the one chip challenge next Thursday with it. Um, But I don't know for sure. Anyways. Joster, thank you for the $100, dude. My God. The fuck? The new season's fun as hell. Is the new Fortnite season good, chat? If you've played it yet, I've seen clips of the maps or the map itself. The map, like the, the new, the new places look pretty cool. Maya for the sub and bro fucking Joster. Thank you for the hundred dollar dono, dude. It doesn't look good. It is fire. Okay. Well now I'm getting mixed decisions or opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm vegetarian for life. hundred percent. What did one vegetarian say to the other vegetarian? You've got to stop meeting like this. That's all I've got. Personal trainers try junk food. Well, apparently I've been told we're testing out. Like a personal trainer doesn't eat anything unhealthy. Do we watch this one, chat? Like a personal trainer wouldn't eat something unhealthy. My God. 
Opinion on eating ass. This kid just spammed the fuck out of that. But he relaxed. 21 for the sub. Uh, Meyer for the sub. Do we watch this? No. How about no? Are people saying no to watching it? Or I don't... Okay, we'll, we'll put it on for another day then. We'll put it on for another day. Korean girl picks a date based on their kimchi fried rice. Welcome, it's Chris, and today we're gonna find a date for Iran. Iran, you're gonna try the kimchi fried rice of three different guys, and based just on their cooking, you're gonna decide who you're going on a date with. Sound good? That sounds great. <laughs> I feel like that's crazy to bet who you're gonna go on a date with based on cooking. Cause like, you being a good cook doesn't at all transition to your personality in like many ways. Like, yeah, you're a good cook, you might have other attributes, but like, fuck. Like, you're going to go on a date with somebody just because you like their rice more than somebody else? Hi, my name's Aran. I was on MasterChef Season 5 and made it to ninth place when I was 18 years old. I've been cooking since I was about 5 years old. I was born in South Korea and I moved to the States when I was about 6, so I grew up eating a lot of Korean food and I've had a lot of kimchi fried rice. What's up? My name's Eli. My name's Inspector Jones. What's going on? I'm Zay. a lot of kimchi fried rice what's up my name is eli my name is inspector jones all right i'm gonna I'm go out on a limb here and i'm gonna say inspector jones has the worst kimchi fried rice just on how bo they got uh, every other motherfucker saying their dead ass name what up my name's eli eli my name is inspector jones what's going on and fucking zay what's up i'm inspector jones all right yeah his shit's gonna suck What's going on? I'm Zay. Eli, what are, what are you expecting? Uh, honestly, I'm not really expecting much, but I think that's the beauty of it. It's just going in like with. Oh, blind he's so confident. Oh, he's so confident. Hold on and see how things. Oh, look, at the, look, look at all these fucking NPCs around me. Think of their kimchi fried rice is better than mine. Now I got this girl in the bag, no doubt. I got this girl in the bag, no doubt, brother. No problem. Things turn out. Inspector Jones, you were very confident that you're going to win this. how he slumped in the chair? Confident that you're going to win this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can tell. I can tell by how he's looking around. Yes. Man, you got me transporting an over easy egg from a different borough, man. I feel like with that type of delicacy, I got to be winning. How are you feeling, Zay? I feel good. I mean, this is something I've been eating my whole life, you know? You I hope she says his sucks dick. I hope she's like, she like spits it out. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, it, like, did he put mayo in this? Uh, it's, it's, it's Inspector Jones' secret secret flavoring. It's Inspector Jones' secret flavoring. I love into it. My oma puts a lot of love into it, so naturally, like, I, I gotta, like, mother, like, son. For me, my love language is cooking for people. No, so Have you ever had kimchi? Once. It's good. Fries there. Yeah, so I'm, like, really interested to see their authentic selves in their dish. I'll be very honest, I kind of just winged it. Spam, rice, kimchi, put some gochujang in it, some butter, putting some mats on the side, hopefully it'll actually make Nah, that looks them. good as hell though. Nah, that looks good as hell. Y'all eating that shit? Calvin for the thousand bitties, been run for the 13 month sub, Clarky for the fucking 300 bitty or 400 bitties, rep for the sub. Bro, the boy talks it for another 50. If you could get another dog, what breed of dog would you get? Ooh. Oof. Fonts for the 500 bitties. Imagine using cooking as a reason to date. Rep for the 10. Been six months since I've been contacted by... Since I've been in contact with my local grocery store, I miss my dad. What do you mean? Oh, like your dad going out to get milk? Maya for the sub. And the boy talks it for the fucking 50. Then run for the five gifted. My God. Dub in the chat for both of those. The boy talks it for the 50 and then run for the fucking five gifted. If I could get another dog breed, what would I get? What's the best dog breed, chat? In your opinion. Uh, I mean, golden retrievers are fire. That's like, I, Daisy's a golden retriever. I also like Rottweilers. Uh, if I could get any other dog right now, I would probably get... Oh, fuck. Hold up. I gotta look up the name of the dog. Oh my god, I see him all the time. A Border Collie. I would probably want a Border Collie. 
a border collie, uh, a Rottweiler, or a Lab, or a Doberman. Uh, I've always wanted, I've always had the dream, wait. I've always had the dream of being so rich that I could have a Doberman guarding my castle. In like the movies, you know, like, you know, like the Simpsons and shit like this. Just have like five Dobermans just constantly just like, just like walking around the fucking yard and shit. Just ready to eat anyone that steps on the property. Like that shit. And the boy talks it again, bro. Thank you for the 50. Bid run for the five gifteds. Bo bat, bro. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Motherfuckers need to chill out. Motherfuckers need to chill out. Motherfuckers need to chill out, bro. Oh Where are we? my God. $150. I love supporting small streamers like you, Joe. I'm not a, am I, yo, I'm not a small streamer. What a backhanded compliment that was, Bobat. For the fucking $150. Uh, Bobat for the 150, bro. My fucking God. What the actual fuck? CPS for the sub. Vin run for the five. Gifted again. Joe's for the 361. Rev for the five. First dono in the stream. Excited for the future. Dub Rev for the five. Why is spending money on streamers addicting? I don't know. Y'all gotta relax. Y'all gotta all relax, bro. The fucking dodos today are nuts. Calvin for the sub. SL for the five. Wanted to donate because I love your videos and streams. You make me and others very happy. Thank you. And Bobat, dub in the chat for fucking Bobat. Or Boba T. I say Bobat, though. $150, dude. My God. Love, the sh love supporting small streamers like you. I don't know if that's a compliment. But thank you for the 150 Fucking shit. No, but a Doberman would be nuts. But I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to do the, the ear cropping thing. Because I feel like I, I would feel bad for that. Like, I feel like cropping dogs' ears is like, ugh. Like, why do they do that? But some dogs naturally have pointy ears. Anyways. Bro, thank you for the fucking 150, Bobat. Uh, and for the five, I already read that. Oh, you make me... Uh, he's calling you small in height. No, I think they're just saying small streamers in... Bro. Okay, no, 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 no. We gotta chill out. 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 No. The boy toxin. No. This isn't even a lot. I love what supporting do you, mean? you and seeing you, you have you a good mean? day. You give me $150. You're saying that's not a lot? What the fuck? This isn't even a lot. I love supporting you and seeing you have a good day. Bro, 150 Yeah, this isn't even a lot. This isn't even a lot. A $50, $50 donor. That's a fucking shitload. Fucking $50. Yeah, that's not a lot. What? 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 My God. Fucking bo the boy toxin for the 50 and bin run for the gifted. Thank you for the fucking 50, the boy toxin. I love supporting you and seeing you have a good day. Thank you. Yo, W the boy toxin, Bobat, and Vinrun for another five gifteds. Oh my god. Yo, Vinrun with the fucking gifteds too. Fun fact about Vinrun. The only the only bod I have ever met in real life. Met him at the Mr. Beast Burger event. Vinrun for the five gifteds. Thank you for the five gifted subs. The boy toxin for the 50. Fuck. And my man got fresh mods. Everybody nuts. else is sweating right now. I don't know if the taste is going to be up to par to her standards, but I'm always willing Somebody to- Somebody said, yo, let me be your YouTube editor. I need money. I already have YouTube editors, bro. I'm sorry. My advice is if you are an editor, reach out to YouTubers that are starting out. Uh, Slugers from the sub, like TikTokers that are starting out on YouTube. Learn, and I think that plays hand in hand with my personality. Ooh, she already- Ooh, 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 she already don't like that. Ooh. I'm always willing to learn, and I think that plays hand in hand with oh, my personality. Oh, she went. Oh, And then Bobat fucking said, pins a comment, love supporting small streamers. Bro, Bobat for the 50 gifteds and the boy toxin for the 50. What the fuck?
The boy toxin. This is pocket change. My aunt let me fly her helicopter and hovercraft. Love you, Joe Smiley Face. Hovercraft? 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 That's a fucking real thing? Pocket change? Go back for the fucking 50 gifteds. My god. Bro, Bobat, what the fuck? That is so many fucking subs. And the boy talks it for the fucking 50 again, but he has a hoverboard. A real hovercraft? What the fuck is a hovercraft? That exists? I thought that was a movie thing. Bobat for the fucking 50 gifteds. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a sub. And thank you, Bobat, for the 50 gifteds. And the boy talks it. Thank you for the fucking 50 yet again. I'm spitting everywhere. Ugh. Silver for the sub. Thank both of you for the 50 and the 50 gifteds. God damn, dude. My God. I feel my blood pressure going up right now. <sighs> yeah, she's been fucked. She's giving that shit a bad look, though. She, ugh. Ooh, she don't want to try that. Well, they did a good job cooking the egg. It's like the yolk is runny. And I love spam and my kimchi fried rice. <laughs> Yo, she got the extra holy spam. Shit. Yo, she got the <laughs> fucking spoon. That's how you know she eats well. I'm really good with spice, but it's really spicy. But then it low key lacks some flavor. So maybe they just like. Sorry, sorry, what's that mean? No, 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 no. They're aware this is their last day on earth. Let okay, them have okay. it. Well, I can tell that like he put a lot of thought into plating it. So maybe he's kind of like an artsy type of guy. Would you go on a date with this guy? Any red flags in terms of dating? I'm curious. To Any know red flags in terms of dating from the fuck from looking at the kimchi rice? Any red flags from the kimchi rice? Bro, Vin run for the 10 gifteds too. Nah, y'all actually gotta chill out. Y'all actually gotta chill out now. I, I'm not even reacting anymore. I'm just fucking sitting here freaking the fuck out. Vin run for the 10 gifteds. Oh my god. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs, Vin run. Gallant for the sub. Silver for the sub. The boy toxic for the 50 again. And Bobat for the 50 fucking gifteds again. And Vin run. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, bro. God damn. Oh, is he the type? Does Brooke know how to cook? I'm going to say no. I'm going I'm to say no. She would say yes. I could have a cook-off with Brooke one day. But I... Ev Brooke has never cooked for me. I have cooked for Brooke. On like four or five separate occasions. She, I don't think she know. I She says she can cook well. But I cook a lot of the time. I think she could cook. Yeah, I'd say like... I think if I tasked her with like, hey, can you make us dinner? She can make a good dinner. Do I think I'm a better cook than her? Hold up. Yes, yes, yes. I think I'm a better cook than Brooke. I think I am a better cook than Brooke. I think I could cook. I think I could cook better than Brooke in multiple occasions. My God, I, I don't know where I went there. It's like I lagged out or something. So I got lagged out. Why are you adding her? Is she in my chat? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, no, she's not in my chat. Fuck. Okay. Nah, I gotta do a cook-off with her. I'll tell her that. I'll ask her right now. I'll ask her right now if she'll do a cook-off one day. I literally asked her that just now. Set for the 50, dude! Always love seeing small... See, oh, wait. Always lovely to see people supporting small streamers. Why is everybody calling me a small streamer? Am I a small streamer? The boy talks it for the 25. My first car was a 2005 Ferrari F430. Your first car was a fucking Ferrari? Love for the 300 pities. That egg sandwich you posted on Instagram, I'll, eat, I'll instantly eat your shit. Over Brooks. Bro, that egg sandwich I did post on Instagram looked pretty fire. I got a, I got a lot of I got a lot of flack for that. I cooked some mean eggs. Butter on the pan, half a tablespoon of butter on the pan, four eggs, lemon pepper, sriracha cheese. Fucking plate that shit on a fucking toasted bagel. Maybe some fucking bacon on top of that if you want, but bro, done. I cooked some mean breakfast. That's what I'm best at. Zephyr for the thousand biddies. I requested headset that and I hate small streamers. Hold up. Headset then. Alex for the three. Fucking uh, TBT. The boy toxic for the 25 and set for the fucking 50, dude. God damn.
that just likes going for like adventure and going for risk without Y'all actually- feeding his ego? I do have a cooking ego. I do think I make some good ass food. If the food that I know how to make, I think it's pretty good. Thinking about the steps going into it, because it's like very spicy, but then like it lacks a lot of the basic flavors that I'd want in kimchi fried rice. That doesn't mean he lacks flavor as a man. <laughs> he asked ahead of time if you were lactose intolerant. Oh, that's actually very considerate. And I actually think that cheese always belongs on kimchi fried rice, so. Plus five for him. Plus five. How attractive do you think this guy is? I would say he probably is an eight out of 10. Oh, that's Ooh. high. Cause you know, normally like the good looking guys are the ones with the more of the I am life. waiting for her to shit on Inspector Joneses. Flag, so. Oh, see, <laughs> yo, fuck. For all you people that want to learn how to make kimchi fried rice, you heat up a skillet, put some neutral oil on, get some chopped scallions, throw in some protein, kimchi or some fresh vegetables or what have you. You get a day old rice because you don't want it too sticky for your fried rice. You kind of want it loose, like, you know, after a couple shots of soju and all that. You gotta understand, you got some red pepper paste and soy sauce and some oh, sugar. Oh, nah, to... he knows what he's doing. Fuck, he, nah, his is gonna be good. His is gonna be good. Cut this. Just the way that he's talking spiciness and the saltiness. If you're real Korean and you grew up with your grandparents, yo, they always had porichan in the fridge, you feel me? And if you guys don't know what that is, that's barley tea. And you get some cold poricha and some good Korean food, and I think you kind of lit. Okay, so before we start, I will mention that he opted out of reheating his dish. Oh. Yeah. So he wants me to eat my food cold. Well, first of all, the plating is great. Maybe he's like an artsy guy, maybe like low key. Why did he not want her to eat it warm? into music or something? I don't know. Wow, he is actually a rapper. Oh, damn, look at me. I am so good at judging people. <laughs> um, I like the way that he like put it in the bowl and then like flipped it over. You did the same thing. I did do the yeah. same thing. That is actually something that I did once on MasterChef, so maybe we would get along and we have like some Nah, more... the other guy did it too. You didn't say shit then. You didn't say shit then. The other guy did it too. Biased, biased. Bias. I'm I'm for t I'm for the first guy. I'm for the first fucking guy now. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, your friend zone and the other guy. You fucking complimented this dude for the same damn thing the other guy did. Or thought process and things. Oh, he did want to serve this with a drink. Ooh. So nice of him. What is a drink though? Only one way to find out. Oh wow, did he bring this from home? Oh yo, there wow. it is. There it is. Yeah, he did. I think we could get married. <laughs> <laughs> I am very, very impressed. Considering that, like, he didn't really. Nah, but I feel like when she meets him, she won't like him. Because <laughs> he's so overconfident. He's so overconfident. Like, I feel like that's going to be the issue. Five star for the sub. Bro, fucking the boy toxic for the fucking $10. It was roughly $102,000. It wasn't bad, but now, but I now am more humbled with money. Dude, your first car was one hundred and two grand. God damn. Your first car was 102K? Dude, I had a nice first car. My first car was a 2011, or wait, no, it was 2010 Camaro. 2010 Camaro with 56,000 miles on it. It was a nice first car. It was a nice first car. I fucked with it. And I, dude, I thought I was the shit too. It was a V6. I thought I was fast as hell. I try and pass people all the time. But you're over here. You actually had a fucking Ferrari. Your shit probably went zero to 60 in fucking three seconds. That is nuts. That is nuts, dude. But I'm, it's good that you're humbled with the money, bro. That's nice. It, the yolk is perfectly cooked. That's what I was thinking the whole time. I might have to marry her myself. Loki tastes like the kimchi fried rice I would make. I feel like his knife cuts tell me that he has really good attention to detail. He would plan everything very well. Yeah, he would. he's probably the one that would like make the reservation and then send me the resi link or something. I can't front. I'd be doing that on the regular. Do you think he keeps his room clean? Yeah. Do you keep your room clean? <laughs> I'm sorry. By this plating, I feel like he's definitely, he like makes his bed every morning. He probably does the dishes as soon as he cooks too. I never make my bed. I will never make my bed. I will fucking get out of bed and, and then when I get back in bed, I just fucking rearrange, I shuffle around the shit so I can lay in it. Like, why would I make my bed? I hate like, it's all the military guys. I've seen the fucking videos of that shit. Yeah, you gotta wake up at 4 a.m. Make your bed. It shows discipline. I'm like, no. I'm gonna just get out of bed. And then I'm gonna get back in bed when I wanna fucking go to sleep. I feel like it's a waste of time. Spending 10 minutes making your bed? My God, I could just fucking get back in. It's, it doesn't need to look nice. Just fucking roll in that shit.
do that? No. <laughs> he was the most confident in winning this, also. Oh, wow. Good for him. Yeah. You like a man with confidence. 10 minutes? Dude, making a bed, I'm saying, like, a nut, when you make a bed nice, I'm not saying like, oh, you just shuffle around the sheets. I'm saying making a bed, tucking in the fucking shit, flattening it, flattening it out. You know when it's like a, when you walk into a hotel room and it's nice and flat and everything's tucked in? That takes 10 minutes. Ooh. What do I got for us? What is that? Is that seaweed? What was the question? That's very, that's a lot. That's, ooh, that's a lot of. That's that's a big fucking scallion. What do you got for oh, us? I, I got a I got kimchi fried rice. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No. Uh, lots of vegetable chopping. Lots of meat grilling. I like double meat on basically anything that I ever eat. All of your three fried rices look almost exactly the same. Exactly the same. So like I gotta switch it up right now. So this is like a lot of eggs. There's two. I I, I did another one for backup. So we got a poached egg. We got a regular egg. Some of these crushed sesame seeds. Well, I almost poured the entire thing on there. I'm gonna put some of this on the side right here uh, what else can I make different right now oh let's um let's just let's just have some fun <laughs> take his scallions I, she, she needs to eat a lot <laughs> that made it look bad though like that looks low effort yeah that looks nasty now it looks it looked good before you fucking ruined it you should have I mean even the seaweed wasn't that bad bro what the fuck is this bro just threw in fucking a whole ass scallion but he's just making that shit oniony. Nathan for the sub, Calvin for the thousand biddies. Cooking aside, what does this say about you as a potential partner in dating? You will always eat a lot. <laughs> then, I wanna serve it with this hot sauce and with this. Okay, presentation-wise, this is probably the worst out of all three. <laughs> I mean, also, is this even a full egg? Oh, and this one is um, undercooked. Yeah, one of them was poached. Oh, one of them is not. One of them is poached? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is not a poached egg. <laughs> and then this egg is like fine. Nah, that would make me sad as hell if she was dissing my shit and everybody else did well. But I'm just confused because they're like different. Don't you like a man with variety? Correct. I do like a man who can be versatile, but I feel like there's a time and a place, and this was not the time or the place. No. I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. That's a bar, man. Bro, oh, but no lie, I kind of feel like they they would match best. Like how her personality is, and he's like actually funny and humble. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, if I was like, which one, if she talked to all three, which would she like the most? I feel like it would be this guy. I feel like she would like him the least. Yeah, that is, that's a, that a bar. He wanted to let you know that he doesn't leave any space. He wanted to fill the whole plate. He was all about quantity right here. So quanti he's a quantity over quality type of guy. I assume he meant for both, but <laughs> <laughs> we at least got the quantity. Okay. The fact that he like gave me this on this side. So does he expect me to like wrap it? Also, I'm just a little bit confused because there's like this wrapper <laughs> seaweed and then like this, the sprinkles. Like I said, Variety. <laughs> is this spam? Oh, I think he put pork belly in here. I did. Mm. Wow, that's impressive. I love pork belly and fried rice. Come on, MSG, do me some good. Okay, so just by, <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, it's bad. by the plating of this, is he a gym rat? Oh, I'm no rat. <laughs> <laughs> because he put two eggs too, so it's like an overload of protein. Maybe this is generous. That looks better though. Like, I would want more than one fucking egg. You're giving me a pound of rice with one egg? Version is because he grew up getting a lot of love from his family. I did. But we love a family-oriented man. Oh, God. Ron, she's gonna, she's gonna date the rapper guy. Who are you going on a date with? Okay, so... It's gonna be this dude. The, the fucking, the second guy. Oh, so the first guy's kimchi fried rice had potential. He seems like a risk taker because it's very spicy, but the small details aren't really there. So I feel like he's someone who just goes at his own pace. So this is a no for me. The third kimchi fried rice is good in flavor. And I feel like this guy is like a family man, like very generous, probably has a great relationship with his mother. I don't know. But he seems like someone who can't really make up his mind because he gave me all these things on the side as if he expects me to choose, so... Yo, bro, they're gonna go on one date and Inspector Jones is a, is gonna drop the fucking ball. And yo, should we look him up if he's a rapper? Do you think he's got a song on Spotify?
Yeah. Deserving the best. She looking so tall and so slim in that dress. Louboutin every step. Wearing Chanel from her knees to her neck. Walk with a strut. Never had taken the bus. She used to a different life. Uber whenever she tripping. Amex whenever she swipes. Chilling all night. She loves when I'm laying the pipe. She says that I'm worth all the hype. We just a flame. She knows that I'm doing my thing. She ain't expecting a ring. Ah, all right, I fuck with Inspector Jones now. I fuck with Inspector Jones now. That shit's fire. This is a bridge that I really ain't trying to go burn. Nah. I'm nah, literally I'm adding this song to my playlist. Now nah, that's actually fucking good. That's actually fucking good, bro. He doesn't even get fucking Spotify listeners either. That's actually pretty fucking good. For how many fucking uh, listens he gets? Vincent for the five fucking gift bits too. Logan for the 435 bits. Vincent for the sub. Calvin for the fucking thousand bits. And Vincent Price 1020 for the five gift hits. But been in love, she might be the first. Uh, Scary how quick I was falling for her. Okay. Monogram all on a purse. Uh, I'm trying to get all in a skirt. She kisses my neck as she's grabbing my shirt. Ecstasy when we up in the sheets. I know she got feelings for me. I might just even have feelings for her. She loves that position. I'm gripping the curves. Yeah. Wanted a wedding ring, but I just knew in my core. Top. Oh, see, now that one's bad. Too deep into all that you do. So what's up? You might be coming off as a tease, but I ain't buying it. Cause when our eyes lock, I experience timelessness. We could be just friends. I'll be fine. I with think it. he's got good lyrics. I think I think he knows the lyrics that he's fucking. I think he writes his own shit. That's good. Jim for the sub. Oh, this is a no for me. It ain't bad. I thought it would be like something. You know, you know when somebody says they're a rapper and like it's like your friend and they're like, yeah, I rap. Oh, I make music on SoundCloud. You pull that shit up. It's the most like it's like th then it's like fucking shit. It's like actual garbage. Hold on. What's like what's like a bad what's like a bad rapper? Somebody give me a really shitty rapper that's not mainstream. Like somebody that's your friend that has a Spotify song. Wyatt James. If you work that hard. Post. They post goals on their Instagram, but their post goals because they've given up. Damn. Old soul with a kid in them. So raps with enough passion to fill a boatload minimum. Pro won't give it up. Uh. And back in my day, I'd run and hide from my fucking problems. That shit's changed. And it I just don't flow. It just don't flow. Like the lyrics aren't bad, like, but his shit flows. Like this, that's usually the main issue. Like even if you have good lyrics, it's just, uh. It just doesn't go together. But hit like the fucking the other dude, fucking Inspector Jones. Uber whenever she tripping. Okay. Amex whenever she swipes. Chilling all night. She loves when I'm laying the pipe. She says that I'm worth it. And then he and then he has that upbeat whenever whenever he fucking hits a rhyme. So then it's fun. It just sounds. It just flows. It just sounds way better. Bro, the fucking boy toxic for another fifty. What would you do if you were rich? Also glad you're having a good day. Love small streamers. Stop calling me a small streamer. Stop calling me a small streamer. Fit for the forge, but he's true for the sub. Fuck it, the bully toxic for the 50. How rich are we talking? What would I do if I was rich, meaning like, like multi-millionaire? Like, I'm talking like 40, 50 million dollars. I'm fucking rich, rich. Probably buy a Lamborghini, have a house somewhere in Switzerland, uh, and then somewhere in the Caribbean as well. Uh, and then I would kind of just ping pong between those three houses for infinity until I died. And then that would be it. Maybe own a yacht to move between the houses and a plane. That'd be it. Second kimchi fried rice. I, think I would also buy a smart car and put truck tires on it. That's a dream of mine. Owning a smart car with truck tires. Like big fucking tires. And then like, any, like just, just terrible turning radius to where if you turn more than like fucking five degrees the car flips why a lambo i love lambros or i love lamborghinis like a lamborghini uh huracan or not a huracan a huracan is like the more realistic one but what's my favorite one the lamborghini uh venino no not a venino a ventador i would want an aventador those are the coolest ones this one was the best taste-wise. I don't even think also, of Anino's like, road legal. details and how he like prepared a drink for me. Um, I think it shows that he's probably a very sweet person. So who are you going on a date with? I'd say kimchi fried rice. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Inspector <laughs> Jones. Yes, let's do it, man. All right, All right Aran, come on in. <laughs> go right over here. Aran, you picked Inspector Jones as your date today. Yeah. Appreciate you. So as the episode oh, usually. Oh, the laugh. The laugh. 
the laugh after she said Inspector Jones. <laughs> here we go right over here. Iran, you picked Inspector Jones as your. Uh, yikes. That fucking pause. Inspector Jones. Date today. Appreciate you. So as the episodes usually go, I'm going to send you two off on a little mini date. You'll be able to talk for a bit and then we'll check back in afterwards. Mr. Sir Inspector Jones, where are you taking her on a date? Um, I think she had a. Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna take her out somewhere nice. I'm, uh, I'm thinking Applebee's. Uh, you know we're gonna be getting those half price apps. Uh, it's around 9:30 right now. Um, you know I can't be breaking the budget on that shit, but I really think we're. Gonna, I'm gonna treat her something nice. She might be able to get the, the combo platter. I think I'm gonna give her the combo platter real quick. I don't, uh, you know that's a pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Somebody redeemed headset, Dan. Um. Caitlin and FNG for the sub. Uh, Mr. Finn for the 300 bitties. Me and my little brother watch you every day and his birthday's coming up. Can you say happy birthday, Gail? Happy birthday, Gail. Uh, what's your opinion on the weekend? Uh, don't really listen to him that much. Think he's kind of overrated, but his music's all right. Enough of Korean food, so I might have to show her some good New York eats. You get what I'm saying? Maybe some nice rooftop bars type shit. You know? A little cocktail joint. Iran. What's up? You politely assumed he had a clean room and he would like to. Do you have a clean room? It depends who's coming over. You know? <laughs> if you're coming over, we'll be spotless. What's up? <laughs> oh, she's not going to like him. It's just, it's just like, oh, no, nah, they don't match, bro. It would have been way better if she chose one of the other dudes. Because she seems so organized. And he's just like, like the creative rapper. Which, like, yeah, I mean, they might fit. But it's just like, oh, I don't think so. I don't know. I want to know how that went. Because it just ended right there. Castle for the sub. All right. Somebody redeemed Daisy Showcase. I got to go get my dog. Uh, so you guys got to count me down 30 seconds. I'll play some more of Inspecto Jones while we go get it. <laughs> Yeah. Deserving the best. She looking so tall and so slim in that dress. Louboutin every step. Wearing Chanel from her knees to her neck. Walk with a strut. Never had taken the bus. She used to a different life. Uber whenever she tripping. Amex whenever she swipes. Chilling all night. She loves when I'm laying the pipe. She says that I'm worth all the hype. We just a flank. She knows that I'm doing my thing. She ain't expecting a ring. But tables they turn. This is a bridge that I really ain't trying to go burn. Nah. Nah, I never been in love, she might be the first uh, Scary how quick I was falling for her okay. Monogram all on a purse uh, I'm trying to get all in a skirt She kisses my neck as she's grabbing my shirt Ecstasy when we up in the sheets I know she got feelings for me I might just even have feelings for her She loves that position, I'm gripping the curves Damn. Independent by all of his means That was what was so attractive to me I had to show her some interest Just to show how we could actually be uh, Giggling as I keep telling my jokes I know that she falling for Jones She uh, even knows that I'm still Talking to hoes whenever I walk out the door. Chat. Before you freak out, we did shave my dog. So keep that in mind. She's also wearing a shirt. What? You lined up her shirt? What? The free piggies? She has drip? Why is she naked? She's not naked. We shaved her. You shave her because her hair gets so long and that's starting to get warmer. So it's just like, we shaved my dog in the summer. Winter, or, or the spring and the summer. Cast over the sub winter for the five inch bitties. Have been able uh, to watch much of the stream. I'm on a road trip. No internet. Have reactions been good? Yeah, the one guy for the five inch ten bits. Uh, what the flying fuck? It's not letting me sub to you, L Twitch. What should I do? Try on PC if you're on a uh, phone or vice versa. 
Blue for the sub, and fucking the boy talks it for another 50. Have you ever seen the Game of Thrones? No, I have not seen the Game of Thrones movie or show. Uh, what is your favorite movie and TV show? TV show all time? I don't know. I have a few, I have a few like top three TV shows. South Park, um, Supernatural. Mm, what's another good show? I don't know. I watch like I don't watch that many shows. Oh, uh, probably like MHA. Lucifer is pretty fire. I used to watch that as well. Shane for the subs, Cax for the sub. Uh, in movie, fuck, dude. I don't have a. Uh, in time is probably my favorite movie. Just I like I I love in time. I've watched that a bunch of times. In time, maybe one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I like all those. Uh, and bro, the, the fucking boy toxin dude. Thank you for another fifty, bro. God damn. All right, next video. I swam with a hundred manatees. Seeing one manatee can change your life. But what about swimming with 100 of them? Is it even possible with so many disappearing? With time running out, I travel to one of their what final- What is the spots. ominous noises? Like, this is scary. Manatees are like the most harmless fucking thing ever. If you ever die to a manatee, it's because you hit them with a boat and then died. You don't fucking- you don't die from a manatee eating you. Holds to get in the water. They're they're literally water cows. They're just look at look how nice it looks. They they look like old too. They have this weird hair. And attempt this encounter before it's too late. They look like turds. A portion of this video is sponsored by Deal Dash. Our search for the lost city of manatees began at dawn, and the thick fog lifting off the water was the perfect backdrop as we ventured further into the realm of these mysterious creatures. Manatee have been tied to ocean folklore for centuries and are rumored to have been the source of many sea monster and mermaid sightings. As I paddled forward, I could hear strange breaths and tail slaps. Don't you have a story about a manatee? Yes. It was a very scarring story. It was the first time I ever went paddle boarding uh, in Florida. In, uh, where was it? Near Daytona or New Smyrna? Uh, if you don't know what paddle boarding is, it's just basically like a really big surfboard and you like kind of stand on it and just paddle uh, in the water. Um, you've probably seen it if you've been anywhere in the South uh, where they have like like big open water. But it was the first time I went paddle boarding and I started getting a, a, a hand of it or a hang of it rather. Uh, and so I wasn't like really like falling in the water uh, and we were just kind of paddling around or to a lake. Yeah, I mean in a lake too. But I wasn't in a lake, no. Um, so I'm, like, paddling, right? And we're in a group, and I'm, like, kind of near the back. And everybody's kind of paddling in a line, right? Because you don't want to be in the middle because there's going to be boats. And you don't want to get hit by a boat. So you kind of stay near the side. And as I'm paddling, I, I begin, like, feeling, like, this movement, right? Like, not, like, not that long before this upcoming thing happens. But I feel like... I feel like a pressure under me. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then out of nowhere, a manatee comes under my paddleboard and fucking surfaces and lifts me off of the water. And I fucking, it notices that I'm like, there's a human there and it fucking goes back down and I fucking fall onto the manatee. And I, like, half fall off the paddleboard. I'm, like, hanging onto it. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. I thought I was going to die. And then after I get back on the paddleboard, I realize that it was a manatee. And I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to get eaten. But, like, dude, they're scary. When you're in the water with them, they're huge. They're fucking massive. They weigh, like, 2,000 pounds. I mean, they're harmless. They're not going to fucking hurt you. And they're always curious and shit. It's, like, the same thing as dolphins. They're, like, very curious creatures. They're, they're going to fucking see what's going on. But like, oh my god. And then nobody believed me. I fucking everybody turned around. What the fuck happened? I'm like, there's a manatee, and they didn't see it because the water's murky. But I was like, it was gone then. Just out of sight. The light breaking through the mist danced across the water and played tricks on my eyes. Dolphins are evil. No, they won't. Somebody said dolphins attack you. No, they don't. Dude, dolphins, dolphins are don't attack you. Do dolphins attack humans?
in captivity, they will attack humans. Generally, the trainers. They bite humans both in captivity and the wild. They can become hostile towards humans when you get too close to them. But most of the time, dolphins are not aggressive. Shane for the sub. Dolphins grape people. Yo, Two Inch, you want to type that one more time, buddy? Yo, Two Inch, you want to type that? You want to type that one more time, pal? You want to type it one more time? You want to type that? You want to type that again? I don't think you typed it enough. I think you should keep typing dolphins grape people. In or, go, Dolphins grape people. How? How? And even I admit, my imagination created... How would they grape someone? That makes no sense. They do? How? They have? Bro. Dolphins have been known to be sexually aggressive and have gone after humans. Male dolphins can have a darker side battling to capture other females, clobber unwilling females and beat them up. But like, dude, I'm, I'm like, I'm not saying it's, you're acting like it's a common occurrence. For a dolphin to try and grape someone. Like, it's just like, oh, you get in the water with a dolphin. Oh, make sure your pants aren't off. Like, that's not, that's not like a common thing that they just do all, it's a common thing. So if you get in the water with a dolphin, I, I mean, I better make sure my pants are tied. Like, no. They're also racist. How the fuck would a dolphin be racist? Fuck it, the boy toxic for the five. Last don't know today, sorry. You don't go to apologize, bro. Don't know is optional. I went to Florida, almost got bit by a coral snake. Uh, for the three, I watch you. I love your streams. I usually watch you on YouTube. I can catch your streams. I can't catch your streams most days. Well, I'm glad that you're in stream now. Images of giant creatures lurking below. All right. The sun is rising. The fog is subsiding. On this trip... We're going somewhere new. I'm fast forwarding. I just want to see him with the manatees. They get chilled easily. Although manatee can grow up to 10 foot long and weigh 1,200 pounds, they are a fragile indicator. Aww, don't you want to just hug him? Look how chubby he is. Oh, he's got the, he's got those chubby ass cheeks too. Oh, the little hands, the little hands. Oh. Beasties. They do not tolerate pollution or changing climate well at all. In just the last two years... And they have, like, no eyes. Like, you can barely... Like, how the fuck do they see? It is sadly reported that we have lost 25% of all Florida manatee. As I swam further into the manatee spring, they began to approach in great numbers. One by one, they would appear... Oh, God, dude, did you see it blink? That looked weird as fuck. And they would appear and then swim off again. Almost to test and see if we were there for the right reasons. When you're Do they breathe air? Oh, they can stay underwater for up to five, five to 20 minutes. But they do breathe air. How do they sleep? They're in the water. I could keister a manatee? Really? You think you could keister a manatee? You're in the water with them. There are ground rules, including respecting restricted areas, no feeding, and the biggest of all, which is no grabbing or chasing a manatee. You should always watch from a respectful distance. I'm not allowed to hug a manatee? Are you fucking kidding me? If they want to approach you, trust me, they will. Manatees are naturally curious and very gentle. But they oh, are I know. I know they're naturally curious. But he almost knocked me off a fucking paddleboard. Enormous, and not nearly as slow as they might seem. If they're around you, it's because they choose to be. If they want to leave, they can in the blink of an eye. I don't know about a blink of an eye. They don't look very, uh, they don't look very quick. They don't look very, uh, they don't look like, they don't look very quick. I don't think it could get out in a blink of an eye. I feel like I'd be able to, you know, maybe probably swim around the same speed of it. Hot dog water for the sub. That's fat shaming? That's not fat shaming. He's got one big ass tail in the back and he's wide as fuck. That's not fat shaming. He's just big. How fast can they swim? 
How fast does a manatee swim? 19 miles per hour in short bursts. Around you, it's because they choose to be. If they want to leave, they can in the blink of an eye. Manatees are very social creatures, and when they want to make contact, it's Yo, they do. They look dumb as fuck, though. Like, bro, evolution really made a manatee, dog. What the fuck is that? A sea cow. Really clear, they're choosing you. Almost like a friendly golden retriever, they will nudge you and extend their flipper to connect with their new human friend. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, he's shaking his hand. He's shaking his hand. Connect with their new human friend. This typically lasts for only a moment or two. Then they're off again. However, what you're about to see is the nah, most- Nah, I gotta give him a pizza slice. I know you're not supposed to give him food, but imagine a manatee holding a fucking cheese pizza. Oh, that would be so fucking funny. Just with his tiny ass hands, and he's got that big ass body, he's just holding a pizza pizza. The fucking- <laughs> However, what you're about to see is the most amazing manatee encounter I have ever experienced. Start sucking his hand. Oh, he's mounting me! Oh, he's, oh, he's on my back. Oh, he's on my back. Oh, my God. Yo, you got close to whatever the fuck that thing is. You almost, yo. I don't want to say what I think that thing is, but you just damn near touched it. But we did touch it! Ooh! 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 He touched it! Ooh! What is that? Is that an asshole? Nah, that ain't looking like an asshole. Yeah, he's chucking his thumbs and shit. Ugh. Manatee That's a wart. That ain't no damn wart. That's center body, bro. That's on his underside. Manatee have a unique language and can speak to each other, so it's easy to hear when they get excited. I don't know what this one was saying to the rest, but whatever it was, certainly had them more curious. So much so, I was essentially swarmed. Seeing this many manatee in one place was a rare and amazing sight. There must have been over one- Damn, bro. Look at them. They deadass look like poop. They're just, they're just like the same color. And they just have, they're just like lard. A hundred of them. Their eyes would follow mine and their connection to me was clear. Every time one would leave, another would approach looking for the same attention. And it was easy to get lost in the awe of their playful behavior. After about 30 minutes, I had truly lost count of how many manatee had approached the camera. Nah, he's rubbing his armpits. Bro. Bro's giving himself a scrub down. After about 30 minutes, I lost count of how many manatee had approached the camera. But he's got an itch. And compared to my previous experiences, I knew that this one was special. And sadly, perhaps the last time I would ever see so many in a single place. I could have stayed in the nah, spring if forever. manatees ever go extinct, I'm going to be upset. Ever. But as light started to fade, it was time to make our way back to the kayaks. And for some of us, it was easier yeah, than- Yeah, this dickhead doesn't know how to use fucking flippers. Was easier than others. Look at how he's swimming. And for some of us- What the fuck, dude? But as light started to fade, it was time to make our way back to the kayaks. What is he doing? And for some of us, it was easier than others. That is not others. how you- bro, Yeah, bro, swimming like a frog. Oh, he's stuck. We kayaked through what seemed like a desert, where seagrass once thrived only to witness manatees struggling to feed on what little grass remains. The manatee has more facial hair than Joe. <laughs> manatees need to eat a special, and aside from our furry canine companions, the manatee are perhaps human's best friend, at least when we're in the water. Bro, that is dope. All right, next video.
The real reason do the real reason dodos went extinct. And then we have the horror video. Oh god. Dairy for the sub, Zahid for the sub, and hot dog water for the sub. Balves and I am Bob for the sub as well. Fuck! As hell for the three. Alright, I read that. This is a dodo. Most people were taught that these birds disappeared because they were physically and mentally quite slow. And if you believe this, you have been lied to. The real reason they went extinct has a lot to do- Nah, you know what- you know what I always think about? How fucking pointless land birds are. If you're a bird and you can't fly, that is just bad RNG. It- like an ostrich? Like, why are you a bird? Why are you a bird? Why do you have fucking wings? It's, there's no purpose in you having wings. If you can't fly, why are you a bird? Do with evolution. If we go back 140 million years ago, this part of land broke away from Africa and soon split up into Madagascar and India. India decided they didn't want to be anywhere near Madagascar anymore and shot up into Asia the ultra fast speeds of 16 centimeters per year. According to my calculations, that's about two and a half million times slower than this garden snail. This was so fast that it formed an underwater mountain range called the Mascarene Plateau. A couple mountain tops peaked above the sea, creating some islands, including this, 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 and this. The entire dodo population lived exclusively on the island of Mauritius, but they aren't there yet. Honestly, nothing is it's just a rock at the moment, but not for long. Transported by the strong ocean currents, some gusts of winds, and a couple ubers, many plants made their way to the island, and it didn't take much time before the island was covered in greenery. Unfortunately, though, there were no animals penguins, yet. Penguins? Penguins? Penguins are not birds. Okay, penguins are birds, but they're an aquatic bird. They're an aquatic bird, right? They use their fins and, and wings to swim. So at that, no, everybody, everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. I'm not talking anymore. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm going to play the dirt. I, yeah, fuck you guys. You see, animals have a much harder time fuck traveling dickheads. at a thousand kilometers over Fuck you dickheads making fun of me because I think birds are... Fuck you. An ocean. I mean, unless you're this guy, it's kind of hard. But there are some animals that can Not manage show my it. fucking face anymore. Everybody tell me birds aren't fucking stupid. You know, fucking dumbasses. Fucking tell me birds aren't uh, bur uh, fucking b penguins are birds. Fucking dickheads. They're fucking use their. They still use their wings. They still use their wings. Shit, bird. Oh, oh, the fucking face cam's gone. Oh, I wonder why. Fucking pig, dickheads. A, bur a penguin uses their wings to swim. What the fuck does an ostrich use their wings for? Nothing. They're pointless. Kai for the sub, definite, or def defined for the sub. Due to the overpowered ability of flight, there is no corner of Earth that is safe from these flying fiends. Even the tiny island of Mauritius was occupied by an ancient relative for of- For mating reasons? For intimidating people? No, what the fuck? No, yeah. Uh what does an ostrich use their wings for? They use them as rudders to help change direction while running. Yo, you know what? You know what they would be used better for? Uh, I don't know, flying? Rudders. Maybe just change your footing direction, dumbass. The pigeon around four million years ago. What these birds discovered was an island paradise, lush with trees fostering a multitude of fruits and nuts with a distinct lack of predatory animals. So of course, these pigeons were like, hey man, let's just like stay here. So they did for 4 million years. Due to the wide availability of food on the four island- 4 million years? The dodos just lived the life. The sheer isolation it had from any other land masses, except this, the birds gradually grew much larger than their relatives on the mainland due to a phenomenon known as island gigantism. They also went from having small sharp beaks best suited for eating small insects to huge claw-like beaks to better gobble down as many fruits as possible. The birds grew from only 15 centimeters tall to nearly a meter tall, making them the second largest animal on the island just after the tortoise. <laughs> This brings us to factor one, the four main factors that influence the extinction of the dodo. Meet Steve. Steve is a dodo. Hello. Due to Steve's weight gain and his stubby little wings, he completely lost the ability to fly. Behaviors like fleeing from danger was once necessary- And then it's pointless to be a fucking bird! 
And then why are you a fucking bird anymore? Get some fucking opposable thumbs. ...for Steve's great-grandparents to escape predators, but due to the lack of any sort of predator on the island, he didn't need to fly or run away from anything. This caused a big problem. Not only could Steve not physically run away from anything now, but over millions... You didn't send a dono. You did not send a dono. Unless it was a PayPal one. If it's the ones where you said, I can't watch your streams most day, I did read that. I don't know if that was you, though, because it says SL. Lovely for the sub. Yes, I sent a PayPal one. Well, the only two recent PayPal ones, well, one was from the boy Tox, and the other is, I love your streams. I usually watch on YouTube. I did read that one. I read that, like, twice. Uh, mm, not me showing my Google search of our birds penguins, or our penguins birds. of years of having no predators and practically limitless food, he had literally forgotten the fight or flight instincts that helped his ancestors survive. The fearlessness hardwired itself into Steve's brain, making him literally just not feel fear. You could show him whatever the hell this thing is, and he would sit completely unfazed. Steve had the defense stats of a vegetable, but as long as he and his buddies remained completely isolated on their island paradise. Damn, that's nuts that they were that. They were alone for four, four million years to the point where they didn't even feel fear. Like, we feel fear. They didn't feel fear at all. They'll be completely fine. Uh-oh, it's Europe. Well, actually, the first people to arrive were probably the Arabians, then the Portuguese, but the Dutch were the first to actually Wait, set... Wait, dodo birds were alive during human era? Dodo birds went extinct in 1662? Bro, I thought they went extinct like 10,000 years ago. What the fuck? 1662 is the last confirmed sighting of a dodo bird. ...on the island. And although the Dutch were known for walking up to the dodos and beating crap out of them, they weren't the real problem. Bro, that is nuts. I thought they were alive for so... I thought they were alive for fucking so long and they died so long ago. It was what they brought with them. Cheese, no. The Dutch brought many animals, including dogs, cats, rats, and even monkeys. These animals had found a predator's paradise. There were literally giant... What rat is gonna eat a dodo bird? ...walking meat bags that just roamed the island, didn't run away from you, and they would leave giant yummy eggs just laying around. Imagine you're a dodo, just, you know, munching some Psydoxil on Grandiflorum. You turn around, and there's a monstrous-looking creature sat right behind you. Oh, hi. <coughs> Steve was pretty screwed. Not only were there savage dogs ripping them to shreds every chance they got, but rats were literally spawn-killing the dodo eggs that were littered across the island, meaning there was no way they could repopulate. The situation was getting really bad for the dodo. The Dutch initially didn't consider Mauritius to be very valuable. A little they... team def, though. Like, maybe actually get, like, a bit stronger, you know what I mean? ...realized it was littered with millions of hardwood trees. And wood costs money. Not long after, the island was stripped bare, and the forest that acted as the only source of protection for the dodo were destroyed. Meaning Steve was stuck out in the open, more vulnerable than ever. The Dutch settled the island in 1638, and the last sighting of the dodo was only 24 years later. But it's thought they... Bro, they've been alive for 4 million years, and 24 years after human contact, they die. The entire fucking species. That is insane. They managed to last maybe only 100 years until they went completely extinct. Steve and his friends had all died. Whether this was as a result... Nah, of I'ma find a dodo bird. I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna be fucking sailing around these islands. I'm gonna find a dodo bird in some cave. Animals that competed with them and hunted them and their eggs, or if it was the destruction of their natural habitat that inevitably ended them, it shows that much like how us humans have become soft, needing our daily vitamin gummies just to stay alive, the dodo became accustomed to the easy life, devoid of predators, and access to as much food as they could ever want. So it was inevitable that when predators finally made it to the island, they stood absolutely no chance. I wonder what would happen if we hadn't interfered. Yo, GGWP! GGWP for the dodo birds. Yikes. F. Lovely for the sub, Kai said F for the sub, Vader for the three inch Maybe if the dodo birds had a way to save 20% on G Fuel, they would have survived. Yeah, that's facts. Maybe if they used code JOB at gfuel.com, they would have lived. But, you know, they didn't. So, that's just how it is. All right.
Are y'all ready for the scary video now? Now, this is a different scary video from the other ones that we've watched. This is more along the lines of, like, the Mandela Effect creepy-esque video rather than a short story or a short scary story uh, or short film, rather. So, we'll see how it is. Um, suicide Hotline. Hold up. Oh, it's because there's suicidal image imagery in this. Uh, in this video, I explore the storyline. Hold up, I just fucking. Skipped and it's it. not. In this video, I explore the I explore the storytelling of my favorite web series on YouTube, the Mandela Catalog, and how Alex Kaiser was able to use a single sentence to inspire fear. FL cast for the sub. Should I scan this video if it's giving a warning? It's not age restricted though. It has a suicidal. Can you beat up an ostrich? No, no, I'd probably die. I used to say I could beat up an ostrich though. I'm not really seeing anything that's like suicidal imagery from scanning it. Somebody said, can you post on TikTok? I'm pretty sure I just did. Yeah, posted. All right. Everybody lock in. It's time to watch these fucking videos. Lock in. Now, the scariest sentence I've ever read. This is the scariest sentence I've ever read. And by the end of this video, I hope you'll understand why. The sentence in question comes from the analog horror web series, The Mandela Catalog, and it plays a surprisingly small role in the volume it appears in. Many of you who watch this series may not have even seen this sentence, as it appears for only a second alongside a bunch of other hastily written notes in the journal of Mark Heathcliff. So why is it so scary then? If it's so subtle that you may not even notice it, then surely there isn't much to it, right? Well, I personally believe that this one sentence is so disturbing because it perfectly summarizes what the entirety of the Mandela catalog is all about in the first place. To those of you who are unaware of the Mandela Catalog nah, the build story, is or me. who need a refresher on it, the Mandela Catalog is an analog horror web series by Alex Kister. It focuses on the disturbing occurrences which haunt Mandela County, with most of these occurrences being related to a dangerous species of creatures which are simply referred to as alternates. Alternates are intelligent, sadistic beings that seemingly appear out of nowhere, taking the appearances of those that you know and spreading information so dangerous to those that hear it that it makes them commit suicide. Over the course of the series, we see alternates explored in much more disturbing fashion, with them seemingly becoming- Yo, is this just, a, is this just an informative video? smarter and more dangerous with each volume they appear in. We see innocent people being affected by them. No, it's not. In with the very tapes we're using to learn about them, making them all the more alien to us. Yo, I see. No, 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 no. Perhaps the most terrible. Nah, this is literally an informative video. Who the fuck sent this in the Discord? L, whoever sent this in the Discord. I thought this was literally scary like that. What the fuck? All right, we'll watch this. Paranormal investigation. FNAF All slash right. VHS. Got a bit of an unusual call today, but a job is still a job, I guess. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Let's see. The place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. Oh no. Uh, normally I'd get called in the places that are abandoned or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. Bro, this is a but, FNAF uh, video? Oh, I'm gonna fucking shit myself. The strip mall itself looks pretty new and the manager told me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. 
He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses and that they might have to close this location and reopen. Bro said, what the fuck is FNAF? You don't know what FNAF is? Open it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. So let's see here. All right. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. Sometimes said property will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. A few employees will often feel I like would not investigate this if I'm this fucking worker. Hence presence when working on or next to the animatronics, particularly at night. All right, fuck this. Fast forward to where you go into it. Oh, it's just so dark, dude. I can barely see what the fuck he's looking at. It's gonna be some shit. Oh, okay, that pops so up the power to the building should be cut entirely. No, I'm oh, gonna, right. I'm gonna that get, seems I'm to be the getting case. jittery now. Okay, I can't so see I anything. told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could roll out the possibility of it being the power. No, no, I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried, bro. Because it's so dark, we're gonna fucking see something pop up. Also, we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But of course, this unfortunately. Somebody said boo boring. Yo, everybody say goodbye, XD bot boy. Everybody say goodbye, XD bot boy. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Means that I have to work in the dark. All right, let's get the EMF reader out and let's see. Well, shit, okay. So I was told that all See, those their- See, things already look fucking creepy. Animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. And, um, one there seems thing. to be one missing. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. And, uh, it doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet, though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. Regardless, let's, uh, go ahead and get set up here. Why would he not be worried for his life that one's already missing? All right, let's see what the EMF reader picks up. When was this video made? Four months ago? Oh, God. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. Nah, it's going to be right there, dude. I'm gonna- I already know I'm gonna scream when I see it. Even if I try to prepare myself for it, it just Getting makes it worse. Getting a few blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Oh, here we go. I think we got something right here. Bro, you're just walking on the floor. What the fuck is there? Yeah, it seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. I got a spirit box. Let me take out the good old Ouija board. Oh, spirits. Would you describe it as ushy gushy? Yes or no? Mm, signs are pointing to yes. Now we're gonna... Is that the spirit box? All right, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. I need you no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Whoa, oh, shit. nah, it's a little kid's voice. It's a little kid's voice. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay, just so I can make sure that wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Sean. All right, It's gonna murder you. him. 
So now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, can you tell me your name? Susie. What? Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? Yes. Okay. Hi, Susie. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? They're here. They're here. It's the other fucking doll thingies. Are, do they possess the bear and everything, or is it just what? Like, is the kid talking in the spirit box the one that controls the bear, or are the bears just sentient? Like, who's talking in the spirit box? The bear, or just, like, some random kid that died? Yankee for the sub, were for the three inch bitties. Please unban my main. Let's see what you did. You said L game I'm leaving twice in a row and Pig Memento banned you. Uh, I'll unban you, but like that that type of shit's just gonna that's just like L chatter energy, you know what I mean? Who's they, Susie? What are their names? Do you know their name? Susie names? possesses Chica. See, I don't know the lore. Susie. The fuck did he just say? Do you know their name, Susie? Alright, well, if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? Eight. Okay. So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. Alright, Susie. I guess, more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder? murder? Who murdered you? Wait, so does each FNAF character have their own spirit that possesses them? Is that like the lore? Like, I don't know any of the FNAF lore. Who possesses Freddy Fazbear? Oh, Gabe, uh, it's all the ghosts of murdered children. I never knew that. I thought they were just animatronic robots that were just evil. I didn't know there's pe How the hell would a person possess a robot? We're for the three hundred biddies. Please unban. Oh, I already read that. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Link up for the uh, three hundred biddies. Could you survive a night shift in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria in real life? No. Uh, Yankees for the sub. In real life, if you put me in FNAF, I would die immediately. Do you remember this person's name? Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were murdered by a bunny? Maybe she meant Donnie? Like a Donnie? Yes. Wait, was that a yes? <laughs> Alright then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? A knife? Susie, was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. Holy shit. Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Okay, holy shit. So there might have been a murder or something that happened here. Restaurant owners said that they had operated here for five years straight and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. But I have no idea what that actually means, though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough. Maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on. Or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll Why would you say that? Oh my god, you're a fuck- Yo, GZWP, dumbass. They still hear you. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, maybe the spirit's lying to me. Yeah, why don't you just piss them off? Why don't you just give them motivation to fucking murder, you dumbass? Oh my god. I have to show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security cameras. But let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. 
They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. Bro, when is some shit gonna fucking kill him? That's like what I'm getting nervous for. Holy shit. Manifest said they died 300 years ago. And then you said VIP Elsis. Who is that? Elsies? I don't think they died 300 years ago if they're saying they got stabbed by a dude in a bunny costume. All right. Are you still there, Susie? I streamed for the sub. I was talking about the dodo birds. Oh, shit. Well, dude, I clicked on your chats because I saw you say the VIP thing. Somebody said don't. Don't what? Susie, can you still hear me? Ah, uh, just lost the signal. If there are any spirits still in the room with me, please make your presence known. That, but I think I just heard a chair move. Look, right there. That's at least where the sound came from. It's right next to my flashlight, too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Are you sitting down right here? Oh. Do you want the flashlight? No, dude, in this fucking. It's just making me anxious. Huh? Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. Stop! Yeah, look at that. Still works. Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? Yeah. Off again? What else do you want me to turn off? Noise. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? All right, let's go ahead and turn the Oh, dude, you're right gonna now. die. Oh my God, they're gonna fucking eat him now. Oh, GG's, dude, it's over. All right, I turned the noise off. Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just wanna have a conversation with you. Can you tell me where you are right now? The fuck is that noise? What the fuck is that? What? 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 Hello? What? 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 I don't know if the camera could see that, but I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. Oh no! 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 There should be no one here but me. How's he not nervous? So I'm going to have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just was. But it looked like a shallow end of a person standing next to these pinball machines. This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. Yo! And you think I'm a go in that room, buddy? And you think I'm a go in that room? I'm out that bitch in a fucking second. You think, oh... And he's going to say, oh, it looks like they want me to go in this room. Oh, why don't I just mosey in there? And he's going to get his head chopped off. What the fuck? Jesus! Yeah, why don't you try and open the door, fucking dumbass? Oh my god. Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked too. Well, I was gonna do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kids saw to reveal itself, but uh, it seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know?
Anyways, I seriously need to check the footage, because I need to make sure the camera even got what I just saw a moment ago. My god. Angry for the two subs, Linko for the 300, but he just reacted to me in Matt Pat's video on the lore of FNAF. Maybe one day, if you want to send it in the video suggestion tab. Also, chat. Exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. If you have any videos you want me to react to, uh, they could be regular reacts, scary reacts, philosophical shit. Anything that I could talk of or would be interesting for me to watch with chat, uh, you can send it in the video suggestion tab. And I have a game suggestion tab as well. Uh, for games to play on stream. Extreme Miles and I love for the sub. Link up for the 300 biddies. Alright, so it looks exactly oh. what I... Awkward. I saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's Steve one of the children the that the night guards were talking about. That just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. The voice that kept saying, off, off sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. Let's, uh, go ahead and turn the spirit box back on, see if we can get anyone else here to talk with me, and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. If not, then I'm probably gonna call it quits for tonight. <laughs> oh! Night. If not, then I'm probably gonna call it quits for tonight. <laughs> Right there, what the fuck is that? Holy shit. Hello? Oh god, it's right there. Oh god, it's right there. Oh god, it's right there. That's gotta be one of the Bro, swing peek it. Rainbow style. Swing peek it. Look at that. Now she's gone. Hold up. Bro, why are you now fucking freaking the fuck out? I'm out of that bitch. Dude, I don't care if that's my job. I can see what that's about. Nah, this is fucking sketchy me out. It's gonna be a jump scare at the end. I already know it's gonna be a jump scare. He's gonna swing and there's gonna be something standing there. I would bring somebody else to come to come with me. Stop. Oh. Huh, well, I guess that explains where you were the entire time. Oh no. I'm oh, uh Oh no. I'm having a bit of a hard time believing you were left like that, though. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact controlling the animatronics themselves. Going in with the big guns now. Gonna set up an ovulus for this session. So hopefully I can get some clearly spoken words. Alright, oh, is there right anyone in the room with me right now? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me. I, of course, mean you no harm. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Did, uh, did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. All Which right. one's that? Which one's that? That, oh no, that's Freddy. I just fucking looked that up. I asked y'all that. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? Bear. Bear. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? Inside. Inside. Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not going to assume you're doing trapped. it. Trapped? You're, you're trapped inside that thing? How did you get trapped? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. How did you get trapped in that thing? Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Murder. There it is again. Murder. That's exactly what Susie said. Bro, I'm gonna be a nice as fuck to Freddy. This dude's being a dick. All right, well, if you're not gonna talk to me, I can't help you. I'm going to say, all right, if you don't want to answer the question, I'm asking you something else. Uh, just don't murder me, please. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? Him. Him? 
What, what do you mean him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Oh my now, fucking god. Now, if you help God. me out... must die, 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 die. What the fuck? Whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if you help me out... He must die, 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 die. He well, must die. I assume you're talking about pay. your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but I'm willing to find him and make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. Now, just tell me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Nah, the face is moving on the bear. Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. I was told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can Who's just... purple guy? Purple guy. The rabbit's purple? William Afton. Who the fuck is that? William Afton, purple guy. Oh, he's just some weirdo. What is he, a security guard? The fuck? Describe it to me. No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. Alright, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Get out? Why? Why do you want me to leave, Gabriel? Get out. Get out. Have I said something to upset you? Get out. Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god! Nah, 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 That scared the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Holy shit, bro. I didn't expect it to be that fucking loud. My god. Angry for the fucking sub, dude. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Why did this just go out? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> that glass with my fucking bare fist. I'm beating the shit out of that fucking glass. I don't care if I break my fucking hand. I could chop my finger off. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Nah. Nah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm fucking... I'm kicking that shit in. <laughs> oh, he's getting pulled in. Who is that? Who was that? Was that the purple guy? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who's William Afton though? He would dress up as the Five Nights at Freddy's character to kill people. Oh, and he is Springtrap. What the fuck? Bro, that is nuts. I gotta get more into the FNAF lore. That's pretty dope. All right. 
Yo, W stream chat. That was a fucking great video. That shit made me scared as fuck near the end. William Afton is the murderer that used old animatronics to lure in kids. He also worked the night shift as a security guard. Bro, that's crazy. VIP Elsis. Who is Elsis? Oh, the mod for Zeusy. I'm a fucking idiot. Bro, hold up. Don't VIP them. Why? Why? I added them. Slash user else's. I VIP'd them. All right. We're going to... That was a W stream chat. We're going to fucking raid now. I'll be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. We're going to be playing... um Comrade... Or not Comrade. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST, we're going to be playing Contraband Police Sim. Uh, we're done with regular police sim. So Contraband Police is basically like an old 80s Russian police sim. Uh, it's actually a new game where, uh, it just came out like two days ago, I think, where you basically play as a Russian guy from the eighties that has to like flag people through an immigration and stuff. Uh, it should be a fun game. Uh, it's like a better spin off of like police sim, but yeah, we're going to be playing contraband police tomorrow at 2 PM EST. If the Mr. Beast video comes out tomorrow too, we'll watch that on stream as well. Dead man and Chris for the sub. Uh, but yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Police or contraband police at 2 PM EST. Uh, Sunday will be reactions at 2 p.m. EST. If you guys want to join the Discord, you can. You can send videos for me to react to in the video suggestion tab or games for me to play in the game suggestion tab. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST, Contraband Police. Sunday, 2 p.m. Uh, reactions. Monday, 4.30. Mine, or not Minecraft. Fuck. We're done with Minecraft. F. Uh, but yeah. Tomorrow, 2, Contraband Police. Sunday, reacts at 2. Monday, we're doing Death and Taxes at 4.30. Maybe some philosophy shit after that. Tuesday, I might be live, but probably not. Wednesday, we're going to be starting the raft with Zeusy. Thursday is going to be Fortnite and the One Chip Challenge, uh, which will be fun as fuck. Uh, Friday will be reactions, and then next Saturday, I don't know yet. But yeah, hope you all had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys. We had a great audience today, great uh, chat uh, as well. And I appreciate everybody that gave subs, uh, donated uh, bits, and all of that shit, or just watched in general. I appreciate all of you that tuned in, and I hope I entertained you. Uh, outside of that, we're going to raid. Who do you guys want to raid? Who do you guys want to raid today? Um, Andy the Great. Who is Andy the Great? Andy the Great 315. Playing Geometry Dash. I'll raid him. All right. Hope you all have fun watching the stream. I will catch you all tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. Right after this uh, raid, I'm going to post on YouTube. So if you guys are bored or need something to do, I'm going to be posting YouTube video, video directly after this. Uh, but yeah, hope you all had fun watching the stream. And I'll catch you all later. We're going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.